Hey, good morning, everyone. Hang on. I need to... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, Lynx. One year and apprentice. Congratulations, dude. Thank you so much for the continued support. And the Rocky Pats. Oh, my gosh. What a great way to start the day. Thank you so much. Uh, we got Master Doctor N7 on Twitch chat and Tactical Battle Scroll and Takanashi in uh, YouTube chat. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys got some sleep after the late. I say late. Midnight is late. I'm old. After the stream last night, Rocky let me sleep in by like half an hour. That was nice of him. Oh boy. RimWorld, I missed it on Thursday because of uh, work stuff, but uh, I'm glad to be back on it. I'm doing good. Um, my allergies are still kicking my butt. I just took a, <laughs> I'm, I just took a Zyrtex, so I'm going to hope that it worked. Oh my gosh, Pingu's in chat. My, uh... <laughs> Are we siblings because we have the same artist slash riggers? <laughs> Pingu, how are you doing? Uh, Wyrmworld is a great game. Hang on, let me pop over to the gameplay side of things. Oh, now I'm covering up chat. No, I want to be on this side. Whoop. Yeah, you guys didn't know I have a, a penguin brother. <laughs> Pingu, I hope you're doing well. Uh-oh, my YouTube chat just did something funny. Hang on, let me try reloading it. No? Maybe? Yes. There it goes. Okay, I fixed it. I'm doing all right, just suffering through allergies. Hey, what's up, Nutters Nutty? Oh, wow, Lynx has gifted five memberships to viewers. Uh, if you guys aren't set to receive gifted subs on YouTube, you might want to click that button. Uh, thank you so much for the gifted memberships, Lynx. Uh, good luck. Let's see who wins them. I don't know. YouTube's really weird on the gifted memberships. Last time someone gifted one, it took an hour <laughs> for them to register. So uh, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, an hour. Yeah, YouTube wants to compete with Twitch, but... Hey, Pingu, thank you for following me on uh, Twitch, too. Welcome to the workshop. Yeah, I, I think it was last time I played RimWorld, someone dropped, uh, gifted one sub, and it took one hour for it to, to pop up and say, oh, so-and-so won the gifted sub. I was like, an hour? <laughs> and someone else gifted some subs, five of them, I think, and YouTube just refunded it. It was like, oh, we couldn't find enough people to gift gift them to. I'm like, I have almost 1,400 subscribers, you know, and like 10 to 20 people watch my streams. Like, what do you mean you couldn't find five people to gift a membership to? <laughs> YouTube's lacking, but uh, links. I'm not trying to say this to say uh, I'm not appreciative of your generosity. Thank you again. I'm just complaining about YouTube. All right. Um... All right, I turned on desktop audio. You should be able to hear stuff. Uh, we're going to go left from right. I'm going to introduce everyone again. I've been doing this every stream, so now it's starting to become a, a habit. Uh, we have Aura Master, who is nimble, tough, and kind. Uh, crafting, construction, and shooting. So he's our one of our soldiers. Darn Sig is our cook. He is psychically sensitive to smart and super immune. Uh, he is our noble. He is an acolyte. And that means he has psychic powers. 
so he can summon a microscopic sun or blind people. We have Cholo, hardworking so psychopath and jealous with uh, high intellect, medical, and social. Uh, he's our great ethicist, so he's the leader of the colony. We have Mares, psychically hypersensitive, abrasive, and slothful. That's the bad trait, but high crafting. So they are a Makior, our crafting specialist. Arizona made gamer, who I believe is married to our master. Uh, careful shooter, quick sleeper, and bisexual. Uh, they are a gardener. High plants. And I guess they can do construction as we're watching them build our hospital. Ken Kaneki. High shooting, high animals, high social, slowpoke kind. Uh, he's a hunter. McDougal. Great memory nudist. Shooting, melee, plants. So he's soldier slash farmer. Arrow. <laughs> one of my mods. Uh, high melee. Quick sleeping. Night owl. Brawler. Also high plants. Dorzo. High intellect. Cooking and shooting. Quick sleeper. Gourmand. Bloodlust. <laughs> Josh is sexy. Shooting, melee, cooking, plants, and now I guess mining too as they're digging up rocks. Very neurotic, pyromaniac, body purist. Karma, great memory, optimist, high social, and teaching, teaching, intellect. They're a teacher is their background story. Oh, the chat is covering all this. Oh my god. Chat can go up there. <laughs> uh, Javian. Medical, social, intellect, trigger happy, gourmand, iron willed. Has the DBZ scouter to help their accuracy. Baron Von Kame, high shooting. Misandrous teetotaler and cannibal. And Meow Mew, incapable of violence, undergrounder, jealous, high cooking, high plants. All right, that's everyone. Um, this is our, our base. We're working on a hospital right now. Uh, a monument, I think, for a quest. We have one more day left of winter, and then we'll be back to growing. I dug, I threw some walls down on this part, so this is gonna be our next expansion. I don't know what I'm putting here yet. Please start a cult and cult of lamb. Maybe I'll start cult of cult of lamb next week because a lot of people have been asking for it. And it looks really cool. Uh, I also marked off this expansion area, but it's flooded with some marshland. So I have pumps working on draining the water. And then we can put floors down, maybe room for more. We're going to need more beds because we're going to be uh, over here in a second. Where do I do rituals at? Here we go. We've got two rituals there, two rituals there, and a ritual here. So we can, we have a chance. We have five coin flips at recruiting people. So hopefully we get some new recruits. Because last stream, we got exactly zero new recruits. So <laughs> didn't get to a name anyone after you guys. Oh, we've, we've finished phase one of the kill box. This is called the Singularity kill box. Uh, it's pretty effective. Uh, if we get raided, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to show you guys how good this compact little design is. Currently listening to the soundtrack from that, so Cult of the Lamb has good music too. Oh, we're stockpiled on meat, too. Look at all that. 1,600 pieces of muffalo meat. That's uh, that's better than last time where we stockpiled on... Uh, <laughs> we're stockpiled on horse meat. Uh, you're streaming on Twitch. Yes, I am multi-streaming. I'm William the Alchemist on Twitch as well. I heard there is a Twitch integration with the game. Alright. 
All right, it's one o'clock in the game. Let's everyone's awake. All right, let's see if we can't. Uh, let's have a party. We have an eighty percent chance of it being fun or unforgettable. Which, if it's fun or unforgettable, we have a fifty percent chance of someone recruiting, uh, of a recruit joining. So, let's go. Hey, hey Nutters Nutty, thank you for following over on Twitch. <laughs> Welcome to the workshop. We have, we have dance parties to recruit people. I feel comfortable here. Oh, no problem. I figured I'd stream on both platforms to get the best of both worlds. This might be a screenshot for the next thumbnail. I was unforgettable, but uh, no one joined. 20 day cooldown to do that. All right, um, we can try another one. This has a 75% chance of fun or unforgettable, but also has a 50% chance of us recruiting someone. So let's try again. It's been two years of support. That's true. You did support on the old channel for a year. And unfortunately, I had to start over on the new channel. I had I had really cool badges for the, the two-year support, but unfortunately, we didn't get to stay on the same channel and see those come up. Alright, fast forward through the party part. Hey, Rocky. Oh, they left us a hat. They enjoyed their stay. All right, just one new recruit today. Yes. A recruiter named Zuniga has arrived and wants to join. Oh. This is Karma Kid's mom. <laughs> Who wants to be Karma Kid's mom? <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I have to pull up the Streamlabs page. One second. Wait. Uh, I have to re-log in. Cloudbot, the QA, pick a random user. Blazing Frost is now Karma Kid's mom. All right, let's see what Blazing Frost is, has going. High melee, high mining. Yes, we got someone dedicated to mining. Wait, I think we already had miners. Oh, Mayor's was... No, we didn't have anyone. The highest was like five. I like how the music got inspirational. High melee. We'll have to make you a shield belt and a jetpack. Just like Arrow. Alright, Warden. You actually have high social, so you could be Warden, Entertaining, and Mining. Need warm clothes? Yeah, um... Someone make a parka for our new... Our new recruit. We have plenty of leather and wool to make it from, so that shouldn't be an issue.
<laughs> bring the swords back for one year here. Um, I was thinking about if there's a way I could tier my subscriptions and label them for... And, and like, come up with a tier that would use the swords. I don't know if I would do, like, a tier down, like a $2 subscription and use the swords for that, or do, like, a $10 one for the swords. I don't know. A lot of stuff to think about. Alright, well, they're using beer as their preferred melee weapon. We need to make a better weapon. Oh, we don't know how to make better weapons, do we? No, we have long blades. Oh, here we go. Long sword. Karma Kid does deserve a fancy one. That's right. I wish I could change the mod badges from wrenches on YouTube. I would give Karma a fancy mod badge. Oh, Blazing Frost could use a Thrumbo Horn. <laughs> we did kill a Thrumbo last time, that's right. Alright, the hospital is almost finished. Oh, I know you're just messing. I <laughs> it's just funny though that you uh, you're just messing and I agree with the comment. <laughs> it's, it's like he 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 does bring up a good point. Lynx does. I'm glad you've enjoyed the stream so much though, dude. Even though I'm not making my old content anymore. Alright. Is everyone back to sleep? Alright. Fast forward through the night. Watch Arrow be the only one working because he's a night owl. Alright. One of our, our goals today are to try to get through all the recruiting festivals so we can try to get more people. Um, maybe we'll try to figure out who we want to make a leader. In the colony. Moral commander. <laughs> That's the name we're missing. Yeah, we need a moral commander. That is the role we don't have yet. Oh, well, to pick someone with a high social that doesn't already have a role. Ken's got nine. Karma has 11. Javian has 10. Well, Karma might become our leader over here. Because he has the highest social. I mean, besides Darnsig and Cholo, I believe. Yeah. They both have 13. Alright, we're on the last day of winter. When Cholo wakes up, we'll start another... Oh. We could help our chances if we had a moral commander. Let's make Karma our ro royal commander. Karma's wearing Arrow's jetpack. Arrow doesn't have to join. Oh, but he's going to want special clothes. Hang on, what does the moral commander wear? A head wrap. Okay. Head wrap. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, you're not going to wear the jetpack, Karma. <laughs> That's for the melee people to jetpack in and mess people up. Oh, I should close this. There we go. That might be a thumbnail, too. No! Cholo was supposed to... Why did it take away Cholo's great ethicist role? That wasn't what was supposed to happen. I thought I clicked Moral Commander. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Cholo's the moral commander now. That's an easy fix. I thought I clicked on the role change. The right one. <laughs> Oof, size above average. Where's the, what's up, Darn Sig? Alright. We fixed that. <laughs> Having a mental breakdown with some nice relaxing music. <laughs> no mental break, just uh trying to figure out what button I misclicked on. How many more days do we have on this quest? Oh, five and a half days. Alright, we got plenty of time. We could go raid these guys for some components. Not these guys, because we're allied with them. But this is a small, independent group we can attack with no broader diplomatic consequences. So, uh, how close are they? Oh, they're like three hexes away. Yeah, those guys, we might be taking their components today. All right, make a head wrap. Oh. And that's Cholo's head wrap. Perfect. Okay, so the head wrap is on the head of the person who needs it. I didn't mean for you to lose your role. Wait, why is this unfinished? Why are we bringing unfinished stuff to here? I don't know. I don't understand you guys sometimes. Pirates with no affiliation or allies, from what I'm hearing, is more war crimes. <laughs> that is the name of the game. It is War Crime World. Okay, Park of Maid. What are we waiting for? Um, let's get a long range, range scanner. Oh, we can make Darn Sig a knight. Uh-oh. Dorzo started a fight with Blazing Frost. Dorzo, we just recruited Blazing Frost. Don't rip anyone's limbs off, please. Oh, <laughs> Blazing Frost knocked him down. <laughs> it's that nine melee stat. You're going to pick a fight with someone who has nine melee to your nine melee? Okay. Initiation. Oh, I guess I guess that's what it could be. Good thing we have this Timberwolf that can rescue people. Alright, I need a new storage room. This one's full of junk. And people. 
All right, we need more wood. <laughs> Rough squad. <laughs> hey, what's up, Nicholas? How are you doing today? Alright, what do we need for the multi-analyzer? 50 plasteel, we have 49. Okay. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How are you doing today? Can you join the tribe? Yeah, if you type exclamation point join in chat, it'll add you to the list that I'm pulling names from randomly. Uh, we currently have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 names on the list. But yes, you you can you can join. Uh, my goal today is to try to do as many festivals as possible. To try to recruit as many people as possible. And then uh Hopefully you get in. Oh my god, excuse me. Uh oh, did it not work for you? <laughs> Hang on, Nicholas. I'm gonna turn it off and then back on again. Alright, try it again now. Sometimes the bot gets stuck. One out of 20, I like the mods. Yeah, it's 5% odds. Hunter lacks range weapon. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, Rocky's here. I'm petting him right now. He moved his bed to directly behind my chair, so I can't roll out. Hi, buddy. You doing okay? Rocky, we might go to the pet store later. Won't that be fun? I'll be able to pick up your food. And a special T-R-A-T-S. Do I have a Rocky emote? On uh, YouTube I do. I don't think I added any Rocky emotes to the BTTV yet, but I can fix that. Hey, hey springtime. Now we can grow food again. Actually, maybe we make this 15 by 15. All right, hang on. I can't count. That should be 15. Oh my god. Let's just do it this way so I know it's exactly 15 by 15. Okay. <laughs> my, my brain could not figure out how to do this. I don't think this is 15 by 15. How did I mess this up? Oh, I did one tile over. Fifteen. 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 <laughs> okay. Alright. I only got a C in geometry, in case you couldn't tell. Drink coffee. I have a big 
cup of coffee right in front of me. I need to be taking more sips from it, though, clearly. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pow. Three, four, five, six, seven, pow. Okay. All right, now we got a 15 by 15 with the orbital trade beacon right in the middle. Nothing to worry about. I can still count squares. Get that caffeine? Yeah. Alright, we'll get power. Okay. Alright. Wings ran over his dog with his chair. Well, yeah, you do you gotta be careful, but I mean pets. Pets do get underneath your your feet and stuff. Okay, Nicholas, I saw I added you to the list. Okay, and the bot is working now. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but we got it fixed. Let's get all the wood chopped down in here. I'm gonna have to get coffee filters while I'm out too. <laughs> when I started making coffee this morning, I was like, oh my god, I'm down to like three coffee filters. <laughs> Makes it hard to brew coffee when you don't have all the stuff to brew coffee. Three. Yeah, I thought I had one, but I picked it up and I was able to feel like, oh, wait, hang on. There's more than one in here. But I don't know how I let it get so low before I was like, hang on a second. How long will I be streaming? Uh, probably a few hours. I like to do three or four hours. I unfortunately have some errands I have to do today, so I can't stream all day as much as I would like to. But I also forgot I have a, I have a day off on Monday, so I need to figure out uh, if we're going to do something that day. Maybe a stream in the morning that day, too. While I, uh... I spend the rest of the day working on... I have, like, three videos in mind I want to make. I just need to actually, you know, sit down and make them. That's the hard part. Okay, trading. Let's give away the clothes no one wants. If you could make a cult, what would it be called? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's such a cop-out answer, but that's uh, not something I think about. What would I call my cult? Do these guys have medicine? No. They have herbal medicine, which we can grow our own. They have polar bears. We could get we could start breeding polar bears. <laughs> um I might leave it at this. This sells off a lot of junk for us, including the ambrosia, which is I mean a good drug, but I don't want people to get addicted. So I don't I don't tend to stockpile drugs in my colonies. Oh, this will get us some herbal medicine, this will get us some money back. No, our ideal religion in this game is called Stello Justice. 
I don't know. So it'd probably be a cult of justice. <laughs> that sounds like a edgy band name. Oh, I guess I've just been listening to cult, to cult to Follow too much lately. Uh-oh. Does the power not reach that far? Okay. Oh, and then we gotta put our stockpile zone in here. We copy the rules for this one. All right, and then everyone should be hauling stuff into that spot. Minor break risk. Intense pain. Yeah, I'd be mad too if I had to if I showed up at a colony thinking that they were my same people because they follow the same religion and I got beat up day 1. I'd be a little upsetty too. We got one more festival we can do. Eighty percent chance to be unforgivable. Oh no, this is the ancient complex one that I screwed up. Okay. Then we'll do the just fair. <laughs> Random thought, but as you said, addiction, it, I imagine that some raiders in this game will do a line, if you know what I mean. Uh, some raiders will show up hyped up on, like, go juice, which makes them run faster. That can be a little scary when you're, like, trying to set up a, a defensive line to some raiders before they show up. And then they just bum rush you before you can get your defenses ready. You talking about the game you can go to other people's places? In Cult of Lamb you can. I don't I think you can at least. In this game there are other locations I can visit, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was kind of funny that well, we're called Stello Justice, so everything revolves around So we have the advent of justice and Great ethicist. So then when it said the just fair, I was like, yes, it is just fair. <laughs> but it's a cool little Sky Lantern festival. And maybe we'll get a new name. Oh, Blazing Frost doesn't like being outside. Oh-ho! It was unforgettable. Wanderer joins. I think there's a mod where at random areas on the planet you can encounter a player-made base. That would be really cool. Alright, who did we get? What are your stats? High social. Uh, interest in mining. Pyromaniac Night Owl. All right. Well, you're going on the arrow schedule. Nope. <laughs> uh, you probably need clothes. Yeah, you need a new hat and new pants. That's fair. Parka. Pants. And a hat. Do we have any toques? Nope. Oh, why can't I... Do I have to delete some? Okay, I had too many bills. There we go. Alright, now we pull a name. 
Conquers? I didn't... Oh, we're getting a Muffalo Revenge. All right, hang on. Uh, Conquers, I don't know if you're here today, but uh, you won the name. And it's Conquers, C-O-N-K-E-R-S, like Conquers Bad Fur Day. McDougal, the Muffalo are after you. Okay, now you got to kill this one. McDougal. McDougal, it's got to get you. Okay. Congrats. The bill collector. <laughs> I think that'd be a cool mod to encounter other people's bases. All right. Good job, McDougal. You didn't die. Oh, they're wearing a hoodie. They need to wear a button down shirt too, probably. Alright. That game felt like a fever dream. I, I only know of its existence. I've never played it. Do I have anyone working on sandstone? Oh, here we go. This is the funky track. Alright, traders are leaving. Oh, we need to set Conker's work schedule. You know what? Mining is probably your best job. High social? Alright. You can warden and entertain, I guess. No medical stat. All right. We got a couple. We have a handful of doctors. We're all right. Quick search, but it's called the Real Ruins mod. See, that's one of the videos I wanted to make. I want to do a, a mod showcase on RimWorld. Or I pick from one of my 150 mods and uh, talk about it. Why I, why I like it, why I use it, what it does. I was thinking of starting with Prepare Carefully, because I think that's an awesome mod. Allow all, but we don't want tainted clothes. I don't know why the bot doesn't put people's names in the, um, <laughs> after it says good luck, it just says good luck space, and the space is where the name is supposed to go. Oh, did we get Plasteel finally? Okay, now we have enough we can finish the multi-analyzer. We needed 50, we had 49 pieces. Have I met my game end yet? No, Arrow, you are... Alive and well. Though I don't think I can get you to wear a shield belt and a jetpack at the same time. It's an unfortunate drawback. <laughs> One of these days. No, you got an excellent plasteel longsword. And a masterwork shield belt. You are... And look how happy you are in the colony. Your mood is maxed. You like it here. Well, that sounded like a cult. <laughs> you, you like it here. You, yes you. You wouldn't want to go anywhere else, right? Alright, 
What's it? 2,400 pieces of wood. That's plenty of wood. Here's some more sandstone chunks. We might need a new workshop because for some reason they keep taking the unfinished projects away. We all float down here. That also sounds culty. Masterwork blue fur parka. Someone's gonna like wearing that. Meow Mew comes and takes the parka. Alright, is everyone awake besides my night owls? Alright, we can do one more festival. This is the Fiesta of Violence. This is the last festival I can do to recruit people. see if we get any new names the old it was better I haven't seen either so I couldn't tell you I wonder if there's any merit to taking down these fence pieces and let my animals roam this bottom part See if I can get a good screenshot for a thumbnail. That might have been too early. Probably should have slowed it down, had a better chance. We'll check it out later. Oh, it was beautiful at least, but no new names. Alright. Well, it'll be uh, 17 more days and then we can recruit someone. So, a little bit longer than a whole season. But uh, we got two new names today. Blazing Frost and Conkers. Okay, this is... I want Conkers to wear the toque. I think that's the last bit of... Yeah, and they have good clothes otherwise. Oh, some elk wandered onto the... <laughs> wandered to the colony. Free meat, huh? Yeah, I don't care about the treasure. Oh, we should probably... Build a power conduit to the... Hospital. Alright, three bedrolls. How many people are at the... Mining site, four people. Alright, who are our best soldiers? Uh, Aura Master, because he's tough, I think. Yeah, so he takes half damage automatically. Ken Kaneki, I think, is our next best soldier, because all he does... Uh... Oh, he only does shooting? Me... Josh is pretty good. Arrow, do you just want to die so you can re-roll your character? <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, that pop felt great. I don't know if you guys heard that one. Oh, we should probably say Baron Von Kame because he's only good for shooting stuff. Alright. I love no, but now that you mention it. It depends on the tech level of these guys. If they're tribals, then you could be in danger because they're only going to have melee weapons and I don't have any body armor for you yet. But if they're like pirates or outlanders and they have guns, then yeah, I would love to have you along because then you'll just walk up to them. Your force field belt will block all the bullets coming at you and you just go and you just poke them with your sword until they die. It's real easy. All right, well, I want our master and Ken for sure. Oh, you know what else I could do, though? If they're tribals and they're tracing you down in melee, I can have them chase Arrow and then our master and Ken can shoot at them while Arrow kites them around. <laughs> All right, I like that plan. Arrow, if you die, I'm sorry. I'd be more comfortable with this plan if you had body armor. Yes, use you as bait. Exactly. Alright, let's form up a caravan. Rocky, it's okay. Uh, there's Ken. There's Aura Master. And Arrow. Oh, we don't have any animals to ride. Uh, maybe I'll send a muffalo with you guys. So that way you can carry any loot back. Hey, 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 what's up, Reggie? How are you doing? I'm not going to let him die. I don't want anyone to die. But uh, if he does die, he, he'll be happy. Because Arrow wants to be a gunslinger, not someone with... <laughs> Not a melee pawn, but here we are. Maybe I should have Aura Master drop his flak vest and then Arrow could wear it. Wait, Arrow started a social fight with mares. Arrow, why are you picking on mares? Why? Oh, that crunch sounded nasty. You broke his finger off, and then you lost. And then we're getting raided by mechanoids. Perfect timing. Oh, my God. I'm like, hey, Arrow, go <laughs> go get ready to go attack these guys. And he's like, oh, you mean mares? If you ever get a chance, try lords and villains. I can't understand it. Kind of like RimWorld. Yeah. Uh, I like RimWorld-like games, so maybe I'll check it out. Uh, when did this game release? That's a very good question. I can check the store page real fast. This game's been out a few years. Uh, October 17th, 2018, so almost four years old. Alright. Oh my god. Psychic Suppressor? Four, five turrets and an auto-charge turret. And one pikeman. All right, never mind. We're not going on a raid. We gotta figure out how to deal with this. Avoid max invert. All right. I don't want anyone to wander that way. accidentally all right so how are we going to approach this do i have smoke grenades that would make it way easy to deal with this do we have emp grenades no mcdougall no don't oh i had to set everyone to avoid max duh all right i was like mcdougall don't go that way Never heard of it until I started playing it. Really? It's a really good game. It doesn't go on sale that often. 
because the developers are like, no, our game is pretty top notch. We don't think it's. They don't want to devalue their game by putting it on sale. Unless I'm thinking of different developers, but I think I got my story straight for these guys. That they're pretty happy with what they made. Alright, so we get mares and arrow treated. Oh yeah, I try to stream on the in the mornings on the weekends, um if my weekends aren't busy with other stuff. Hey, Arizona Made Gamer, welcome back. Four months. Thank you for signing up again. How much is it? I think it's $25. $35. I'm sorry. But, I mean, like, $35. You can get all expansions for $68. No, you don't need to do all that. Hey, what's up, Credo? My work was good. Or my work. My week was good. How was yours? Anyone hungry? Are you looking for a horse meat sandwich, Javian? But, I mean, even if you don't get the DLC, there's a ton, ton of moderator support, workshop support for mods in this game. And, um... Man, I don't have many games where I play over a thousand hours. But RimWorld is one of those games where I have over a thousand hours played on it. Oh, I never figured out how to sort my library by game, my hours played. Yeah, it's about 60-ish for the base plus two DLC. Um, it won't tell me what the bundle is because I already have all the pieces of the bundle. You can also play on the Steam Dead, uh, Steam Deck. Not sure if anyone knows Invincible, but I have a hugely hated character there. Uh, I know a little bit about Invincible. Which character do you hate? You don't need body armor, you just live to tell the tale. Well, you can replace limbs and organs, so that's, uh... If you do get tragically maimed, uh, you can resolve that. No, oh, oh, I don't want to copy it over here. I just... Let me add wood into that spot so I can get it out of here. And then we'll add a pallet. There we go. Is it the main character's girlfriend that's hated? I I need to read it. Nolan Grayson, aka Omni Man. No, Omni Man is so cool, but I understand why you hate him. He is hateable. Did you see the death battle of Omni-Man versus uh, Homelander? Oh, that was so good. They did that one really well. It made me like death battle again. Are we going to do dad jokes? If you got some, I'm willing to listen to them, but I don't got any loaded right now. Uh, head is empty, just like last night. All right. Uh, EMP grenades, do we have any? We have regular grenades. Yeah, let me check everyone's inventories. Alright. Mew Mew. No. Baron. No. Javian. No. Karma. No. Josh. Nope. Thorzo. Arrow, McDougal, Ken, Arizona. Why is Arizona carrying extra pistols? Oh, well. Mares. Oh, Mares has a smoke pot pack. Okay, Mares might be useful for fighting these guys if his smoke pot thing works. 
No one else has EMPs. Sorry for bursting my angry hatred upon him. No, it's fine. It's, uh... It, I think it's a mark of a good villain where you can, like... Like, hate him, you know? Okay, can we make... We have enough materials to make a smoke launcher. Let's get one going. Alright, so what we'll do... The smoke prevents the turrets from locking on with us, so we'll just... Um, we'll gather up, like, out here. And then we'll use a smoke cloud, and a smoke cloud, and a smoke cloud, and a smoke cloud. And we'll get up real close, and then we'll just sh shoot them through the smoke. That'll be the plan. We'll have to deal with the pikemen. But Arrow should be able to shred this thing in melee no problem. Um, because all it can really do is poke him with its needle gun. They can't shoot in melee. And the needle gun does less damage. It just has really long range. Like that kind of range. And another smoke cloud. <laughs> yeah, we just make, um... We just play, like, leapfrog with the smoke clouds. That's what we do. And But I don't want the psychic suppressor to activate, because it's it'll affect the ladies. And we have... How many ladies do we have in the colony? One... Two... Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of 16. Okay, well, literally half of our colony. It would affect half of our colony. Huh, that's kind of funny. I don't get, um, I don't usually get splits like that. Or it's exactly 50-50. Oh my god, I've been waiting for Plasteel this whole time. And I literally have a chunk of Plasteel just sitting here. Waiting to be mined out? I'm so frustrated with myself. Are pikemen just a balance between a lancer and a scyther? Not really. Because scyther is melee. Hey, I don't mind you talking about your OC. I'm kind of like an OC. <laughs> In a way, I guess. Actually, I am. I have my lore and powers and stat sheet and everything. Oh, is this already affecting? Oh, it's already on. The countdown activator will just activate, what, the pikemen to attack us? Okay. So half of our colony is already under psychic suppression. What's the menu? I never installed that mod. But that, that would, I forgot that that would have been a cool mod that would have nicknamed meals after what's in them. Uh, but Javian, we got muffalo meat. We, we, we're not hoarding horse meat this time. <laughs> I'm not an OC, I'm a QT. Thanks, Reggie. I make multiple OCs. <laughs> Pulls out my D&D character sheets. How about character sheets? Oh, no, you said sheet. No, there's nutty. I said sheets, uh, as in plural, uh. All right, Mares is working on the smoke launcher. When the smoke launcher's finished, we'll come take these guys out. And by these guys, the pikemen and the turrets. I might bring someone who has a grenade because the grenade might clear these guys out quicker. Long range mineral scanner. Let's get sterile attire. So that way we can give our doctors scrubs and surgical masks. 
Wait, what's this other meat I have over a thousand pieces of? Elk meat. All right, so we have muffalo and elk on the menu. And, of course, uh, rice. Can't go wrong with rice. I don't know how you crash land on a planet and then you're just able, like, I'll start making rice. Making rice. I'll start growing rice. Like, I know plants grow wild in, in the wild, but, like, <laughs> who's got, I don't know. I don't even know how you plant rice. What game should I stream tomorrow? Uh, Death, what kind of games do you like playing? Or you just want to play Flavor of the Month stuff? Wait, I don't even know what games you have. This is a hard question to answer. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of follow ups. You play random games? Is there a random button on Steam? Can I go to my library and just select randomly a game to play? Oh, here we go. I found sort by hours played. Wow, it goes a hundred and then forty and then ten. Oh, not recent. Oh, hang on. All games sort by hours played. Oh, you know what game I have almost a thousand hours in? Terraria, 915. That's a fun game. Play the Stanley Paradox? Oh, Paradox. Stanley Paradox is a fun game, but that's... Uh, you lose... I mean, it's only got one joke in it. Not one joke. It's like good for like one playthrough. I don't think it has multiple playthroughs. So if you've played it before. That's a really lore friendly explanation. Wait, lore friendly explanation for what? Was I talking about lore? Okay, I need to cover this. Hey, what's up, Dazaneth? Like this. There we go. Now, hopefully no one can get shot by this. There we go. Xbox, there is a surprise me button. Okay. Uh, what's another good game? Let me check, check my wish list. I never played Stacklands. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, that's worth a playthrough. Super Liminal. Oh, if you don't have Super Liminal, you should stream that. I might stream this. Oh, we're talking about we're talking about uh, games to play. You never played Rising? Yeah, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is pretty good. I, I listened to the music a whole bunch, and I was just finally like, alright, I need to sit down and play this game, because I've seen some of the cutscenes, it looks hype as heck, the music is so good, and the music is just made better when you know the scenes and the characters and stuff behind it. Nano machines, they harden in response to physical trauma. 
Why won't you die? I know, I know Raiden gets crap for the voice actor, just... I, I, but I like Raiden's voice. <laughs> that might be an unpopular opinion, but I like the extra gravelly, edgy... Because it, it fits. He's a cyborg vampire ninja. It would just make sense that he would sound like that. Every time you mention Metal Gear Rising, I feel obligated to remind you to play DMC. Yes, I do, I do want to play Devil May Cry as my next big playthrough. He's a vampire? I say vampire jokingly because he steals those blue orbs from people and siphons energy out of them. So it's kind of vampiric. Not one of those beltway pansies. I could rip the president in two with my bare hands. Oh, God, Armstrong was so good. Is that where the that where the meme came from? All of the memes came from that game. Every meme. I am the storm that is approaching. God, that song is so hype. I need to play the game so I can hype myself to that song. Or the, um, <laughs> it's early on in the game, but the scene where, uh, oh god, what's her name? The French lady. Oh my god, I can't remember her name. Now I feel terrible. Mistral. She blows a kiss at uh, Raiden from like two miles away because he's like zoomed in using his cybernetic eyes. He's like, wait, how did she see me? So he backs away. He's like all freaked out because he's like, oh no, my position's been revealed. And then the German guy pops onto the radio. Raiden, your heart rate is spiking. What is going on? <laughs> he throws the camera away. You know, I've been working, looking for something to play after my workout. I'm going to try it. It's a quick game not that that's a bad thing I, I think I beat my first playthrough in six-ish hours and then I did the DLC in another six hours I do need to replay it because number one I only have 20 of 60 achievements and number two I need to have... I should probably try to get a perfect playthrough on record. Speaking of Metal Gear Solid 1, I used to watch my brothers play it on the PC, which is the integral version. I haven't played a Metal Gear game besides Revengeance, which I know is like away from the formula of the traditional games. Did I play it on here? I played it on here. Oh, Josh's clothes are tattered. We need to make Josh some new boots. What? That's okay, different taste in gaming. Yeah, I think my tastes have shifted a lot as I've gotten older. Oh, we got a Masterworks smoke launcher. Excellent. All right. I'm gonna have Conkers be our uh, Dedicated smoke grenade user. <laughs> What's the mod for the speech bubbles around the colonists? Oh, um... Hang on, I'll be able to tell you in just a second. Interaction bubbles. I think that's cold. Uh, mod list, mod list. Yeah, interaction bubbles. For me, I play classics like Heroes of Might and Magic 2 or Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Oh man, those are such good games. I played those all the time at my uncle's house.
Was it two that I played or was it three? Oh, it's definitely three. Three had the better graphics. Yeah, but you'd like put your army under like a commander unit that has an overworld. And you like run up to these treasure chests and you get like gold and gems and sulfur and all sorts of other random resources. I, uh, I had a computer that I dug out of the attic when I was a kid, and I fixed it up so it would work right. Um, it had a one gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> Which, I remember this computer, because I remember my dad convinced my mom that we needed this computer because a one gigabyte hard drive was going to be all the storage space we would need for the rest of our lives. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, it had DOS on it and a floppy drive. So I was able to install all my old classic games on it. And so I had this computer in my room that was only good for playing DOS games. But I had Heroes of Might and Magic 1. And oh my god. If you could see where that game has come from to where it is. Oh man. I like I just Google searched Heroes of Might and Magic 1. I can't find any screenshots of this game. This game was rough in the first version. On DOS. Man, maybe it wasn't even called Here's the Might and Magic. Maybe it was just called Might and Magic 1. Uh, it's come a long way. Hang on, this one looks right. Is this the right one on GOG? No, this still looks like it has too many pixels. Or maybe my... No, this isn't it. Maybe it was just called Might and Magic 1. It wasn't. It didn't have Heroes in it yet. No, this is... Man. It had, it had like, really blocky pixels. But it still had the monsters, the two armies on each side. These graphics... Did the GOG do, like, a graphic update on it or something? Oh, well, I can't find... I can't find a good representation of what it looked like back in the day. Heroes of Might and Magic was kind of a turn-based spin-off. Well, it was the it was the turn-based one, but the overworld was like not quite like Atari graphics, but it was it was kind of rough on the graphics, but all of these still look too fancy unless my memory is like really clouded, but I don't think so. Yeah, these look like graphic overhauls. Here we go. Alright, someone did a retrospective on it. Hey, hey, good morning, Lily. Yes! This is it! Okay, I found it. Alright, so GOG did do like a graphic overhaul on it. Hang on, can I show this? Hang on one second. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, those DOS graphics? Look at that. I hope you haven't, you haven't missed a whole lot. We recruited two new people and we're getting attacked by mechs, but other than that, we've been talking about nostalgia again. Yeah, that's this is the graphics I'm talking about. This is what I, I got working on my DOS computer as a kid. I say kid, I think I was like early high school. Those are those are the graphics we were working with on Heroes of Might and Magic 1. Back in the day. <laughs> I like how you guys said perfection. <laughs> Alright, we have our smoke launcher ready, right? 
That's King's Bounty? It looks... It Wait, did I play King's Bounty and I thought it was Might and Magic? Oh, it... It's entirely possible I played King's Bounty and thought it was Might and Magic because they're very similar. And I just spilled my coffee. Hang on, I'll be right back. That's what I get for flailing around up here. Oh, I'm glad I didn't buy a brand new mouse pad because this one is soaked now rip the coffee well you know what i'll say i'm lucky i didn't spill anything on my mouse or my keyboard or my phone just on my desk pad all right well i need to fill this back up i'll be right back I have a booba mouse pad? Nope. I, I got one of those giant desk pads. It's like 36 inches by 18 inches. Don't be like me spilling tea on my laptop during a lecture. Oh no. I spilled a water bottle on my work computer one time. And I, I called my, my company's IT department. I was like, hey, I killed my laptop. Can I get a new one? And they were like, uh, well, it should be fine if you dry it out overnight. I'm like, okay, so you want me to go 24 hours without a laptop to do any work on? And they're like, well, you're the one who spilled the water on it. I go, all right, fair enough. 24 hours later, I set the lap laptop out to dry. Doesn't boot up, nothing. Call back. Hey, the laptop's still not turning on. Can you send me a new one? And they go, okay, it'll be there tomorrow. I'm like, oh, so another 24 hours where I can't do any work? I'm like, well, you're the one who's... And I'm like, okay, no, you're fine. You're right. I spilled on it. It's my fault, but doesn't the company want to be paying me to do my job? <laughs> yeah, so I spilled a water bottle on my laptop and basically got like a two-day vacation. Two days of no work. Well, I mean, I was able to go visit my customers, but if they were like, oh, hey, can you quote me on this? It was like, well, <laughs> funny story. I've been using a book as a mouse pad, honestly. All right, sounds like I need to open up a merch store and sell some mouse pads because you guys don't have. You guys don't have any. But the question is would you use a William the Alchemist mouse pad? I ever played games on the hardest difficulty before. A couple months ago, I played Heretic on the hardest, which is Black Played difficulty. Um, I got through. I got through Doom on the hardest difficulty, Doom 1. Uh, that was, that was painful. Potion shaped mouse pod would be wholesome. Uh, Streamlabs doesn't let me alter the shape of the mouse pad. It would be rectangular. Or one with Rocky. Okay, hypothetically. Hang on, I think I have a render in the merch store. Oh, okay, no, I could do one with Rocky. I have one of just the logo, but I could fit Rocky on it. Actually, I probably should do the one with Rocky. I think people might like that one better. William Booba mouse pad. You know, I if I could do one, if I could get the art for it, I totally would and have the potion bottles be the Booba. But I don't know where I would go. I have people I could ask for that, actually. I don't know where I would go to have that made, but I, sh I could ask around. And, like, what they need is the template, so I can, uh... <laughs> I can get the art made to fit the template, and it fits the... 
and they make it fits the mold or whatever. Excuse me. Uh, other games I've been playing on harder difficulties. Civilization 6, I never got myself up to Deity, uh, but I'm working my way up to Deity. Uh, I'm currently playing on Emperor, which is still really freaking hard. Uh, I don't know if there's other games that I play that actually have difficulty sliders where I can say I've played it on the highest difficulty. Civ 6 Deity is just unfair. Bro, Civ 6 on Emperor is unfair. I tried playing a game as Quin Shi Hong of China. I was working, I, I had, I went Scout, Slinger, and I was working on a Settler. So I'm like turn 17 and Gaul says, ha ha, declaring a surprise war on you. I go, oh, okay. I have three military units, a warrior, a slinger, and a scout. And he has seven warriors. I was like, oh, okay. I just lose. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed to do? Ever played any of the Metro games? I, I got partway through the first Metro game. I had audio bugs with it, so I didn't get all the way through it. Uh, I know those had a difficulty setting. Fallout 4 I played on the highest difficulty setting. Um, but I only played it on a higher difficulty setting because I wanted... Uh, um, more legendary enemies so I could get more legendary equipment that they drop. The AI starts with three warriors on Emperor. Yeah, how many settlers do they start with? Do they start with two or three? Oh, they start with... Oh, yeah, two settlers. Yep. So he must have founded his two cities and made a warrior in each city twice to have seven and just went, yeah, I'm going to go kill you. I was like... Fun game. Thank you, Civ6. No, no. I, I, I gave up on China. I've been trying to play as Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam has some really cool synergies, and I've, I've been having a lot of fun playing as Bon... Oh, how do you say it? I don't know how to say her name. And I don't want to... Ba Trell? I literally... There are so many little extra blips on the vowels on this. I literally have no idea how to pronounce this. Oh, pronunciation is the second Google search. Ba trio. Ba trio. Ba trio. Okay. Ba trio. Uh, yeah, so I've been playing as Ba trio on Vietnam, and I've been having a lot of fun because she gets, <laughs> she gets elephant archers, <laughs> and uh, huge district bonuses, but only if they're built in woods, rainforests, and marshes. So I, I like Civs where you want to uh, expand. Claim a lot of cities, and then I play Sin City, building all the different districts and trying to get all the district bonuses. Oh, Dorzo's having a mental break. Why? Oh, food binge. Okay, it makes sense. Oh! All my animals got the flu? Alright, well, there goes our whole f f herd of buffalo. All right, are we ready to attack this thing? I don't want anyone to die. All right, Blazing Frost, no, Mew Mew? Incapable of violence. I 
I need someone to grab grenades. We're not going to risk darn sig. All right. Oh, never mind. We need Conkers to rest up. When Conkers is awake and fed, because they have the smoke grenade launcher, we'll, we'll go attack the, the mechs. That's the plan. The AI gets 100% production boost. Oh, that's the other reason why he was able to crank out warriors so fast. Yeah, so long story short, I, I lost that game as China. And then I gave up on China. And the other thing, too, is I thought China's uh, bonus to wonder ability carried throughout the whole game. Nope. Only ancient and classical wonders. So I was like, oh... But, like, in the early game on Emperor, I'm struggling to, like, establish my early colonies and defend them and get some districts set up. And then it's like, okay, now I can think about building wonders when there's, like, five wonders left to build. If the AI hasn't claimed them all already. If you need a challenge, try Dead Space 2 on Hardcore Difficulty. I heard Mass Effect too on on the hardest difficulty is pretty pretty rough. Oh, I played through Wolfenstein on the highest difficulty and that sucked because I got trapped in a spot where the game auto saved me. It was like right after Blaskovitz breaks out and he only has like a pistol or something, and I was getting shredded in this firefight with a whole bunch of super Nazis. Like, I had no armor, I had like 40 HP, or maybe even 20 HP, where it was like, one bullet takes you down to like 3 health. I, ha I had to get through this whole facility with just the pistol. Versus like 20 Nazis, it was awful. I restarted probably like 20 times on that part. I had to awake my inner Neo. I had to awake my inner John John Wick. All right, conquerors, you need to wake up, eat some dinner, and then we'll we'll clear out these mechs, and then everyone will be happy with the mechs dead. A potion-shaped mouse pad would be wholesome. I gotta find a company that can make mouse pad shapes. Mass Effect 2 on Insanity is tough. I thought I could handle it because I played the game as Soldier. Yeah, I played I played through Mass Effect 2 as a Soldier as well. Oh, I'm getting raided now. Oh, crap. Blazing Frost is... Okay, um, zone. New area. Inside. I might have to micromanage to get some of my people home. What type of game is this? Uh, this is a colony manage base management survival. It's a lot of fun. Except the AI seems a little intent on trying to kill me right now. There's so many cool weapons in Mass Effect 3, but they locked them behind the multiplayer. Yeah, and then they turned off the multiplayer servers because I would totally play Mass Effect 3 multiplayer if they turned those servers back on. Alright, schedule. Everyone go indoors. Alright, we gotta hope... Okay, Blazing Frost, you need you can't go this way. Oh, they're shooting my animals.
They're gonna kill my lynx. Oh, okay. Kill the lynx. Okay, Dorzo has been successfully calmed down. Ken. All right, is everyone else inside? Oh, okay. Blazing can come inside now. Oh my God, they have an auto shield. Oh, this is going to be rough. They have a low shield pack. Uh, okay, can we make a um, EMP grenade and make it right now? Okay, they're beginning their assault. Oh. Alright, this is going to be rough. Alright, <laughs> everyone to the front. <laughs> Where's R Master? No, R Master, you don't get to eat dinner. Who else has high shooting? Baron has high shooting? Yep. Dorzo has decent shooting. Arizona, no gun. Why don't you have a gun? Oh, you do have a gun. All right, Arizona, you're here. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, Indumati? How badly did Air Aura Master get hurt? Let's look. Oh. He actually did get shot a little bit. He got shot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. No permanent injuries. He just might bleed out, but we got plenty of time to heal him. Oh, we got a heavy SMG? An assault rifle? A chain shotgun? Oh, we don't care about that as much. And components. Alright, we'll wait for them to run away, and then we'll go deal with the... Okay. Alright, we can schedule everyone back to avoid mechs. Thank you for the free medicine. Capture them and brainwash them. Uh, we left no survivors. <laughs> oh, I have an arrow working on the EMP grenades. Wait, arrow, why are you working on that stuff? Oh, he actually has some crafting. All right, that's my fault. Uh, the only drawback to my singularity is for some reason they started to path up this way. I don't know what they were trying to get to. So, ideally we should build a second one right here. And then we could put a space here. But hey, we got... We got good guns dropped by them. You know, the pump shotgun's not even bad. All right. When our master's healed up, we'll we'll deal with these guys. I don't want our master injured further than he already is. Supposedly they're not supposed to be able to fire back, but they did get close enough where they could fire back, so maybe that's the issue. We just didn't have enough firepower to kill them before they got too close. But the good thing is they didn't they didn't get to get into a position to drop that low shield battery. Um, 
low shield battery. The low shield pack, because that allows them to shoot out and it blocks all bullets coming in. So that could have been really rough to try to fight through without an EMP grenade. But if the AI is going to start giving them force fields like that, we're going to need EMP grenades ready. So, well, we're working on them. Mental scars do not heal. Nah, he's fine. He's tough and nimble and kind. Hopefully he heals fast. Well, he's already patched up, so <coughs> excuse me. As soon as the as soon as the the blood loss debuff goes away, we can we can send him out again. So that'll be we'll we'll try again tomorrow is what we'll do. But we'll fast forward through the rest of the day probably. Drifters desire aid. They want half my medicine? No. Sorry guys. I need that. Especially if I'm going to go deal with these, uh, these things. Oh, I forgot about Darn Sig's night ceremony. Okay, he needs a throne room with two columns in it. All right, we can do that. Where's his throne room? Put two jade columns, because jade is a pretty uh, material. Alright. Oh, this one didn't make it. Bad back, frail, psychic suppression. And she's upset because she's wearing clothes. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. If you spawn as a nudist, a, a nudist religion, why are you wearing clothes? Is this more plasteel? No, that's uranium. Okay. We can come back for that. Alright, where's Conkers? She's going to eat, and then we'll we'll prepare our assault on the mechs. Okay, we got another longsword made. Is everyone awake? All right. All right. Time to deal with the mechs. Oh, our master should be fine for another one. Uh, we'll bring Cholo because he's got the combat command. So that'll help everyone's accuracy. Need Ken, McDougal, Arrows Allowed, Dorzo, Josh. All right. Okay. All right, we got to mark the range of the turrets. Okay, so we have to smoke cloud our way in as soon as Conkers gets here. Hey, it was fun talking to you, Credo. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with us.
All right, so the plan is Arrow kills the pikemen. Everyone else sets up on the uh, the turrets. Conquers, why do you move so slow? Oh, psychic suppression. Okay, so all the ladies are moving at half speed, so this is going to make this take twice as long. Oh, I thought I grabbed everyone. Get over here. Oh, we missed. <laughs> move, 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 move. You're out in the open. out oh arrow arrow get back did that break his shield belt oh no his shield's still good Um, is this aiming at arrow? No, okay. Alright. William the strategist enters the fray. Yeah, we're trying. Oh! No, arrow! Okay. Actually, I think we just dealt with it. Are all the turrets dead? Hey, we're good. All right. Our master is already hurt. Josh is in no immediate danger. All right. Um. Hey, everyone, unrestricted access. You guys can go wherever you want. Good job. Those mechs had uh, no chance. See, my strategy worked perfectly. Arrow did exactly what I wanted him to do. He ate two explosions. <laughs> and his shield belt actually protected him from the explosions, I think. I was so afraid that he was going to, when the mechs started sparking because they were going to explode, that he was too close. But no, he He survived. I bet he didn't even look at the explosion like a traditional cool guy. Alright, a lot of animals have wandered on because it's spring. Alright, so our next plan is to raid this spot. We have two weeks left to go. Think about taking care of them. All right, at least Paco didn't die. We lost the Lynx, but Paco's still around. Not like I can uh, r restart if someone dies. We're on Iron Man mode. Everything's permanent. Do we want to do Darn Sig's night ceremony? Yeah, might as well. We're going to level up Darn Sig's 
Psychic powers. Where did they show up? Oh, there they are. They landed here. Alright, where's Darn Sig? Ah, cooking, of course. Alright, so our options for endgame is either nobility or um, spaceship. I haven't done either of those endings. I don't want to do Arachno Nexus, Arcano Nexus, whatever it's called, because that one re involves restarting the colony like three times. And I don't want to like recruit people and then say, okay, never mind, we, you can't stick with us anymore. Kind of cool to get people for the bestowing ceremony. Can I get it? Okay. Grandiose bestowing ceremony gave him two extra honor. All right, Darn Sig has received the title of Knight. He's gained a new level of Psylink. He's learned the Power Chaos Skip. If he dies, our master will inherit his title. He has a permit point. He needs uh, apparel appropriate to his attire: top hat, beret, prestige armor, sidecaster, formal shirt, cape, shirt, suit and tie, suit jacket. I don't actually don't know what his clothes are. We might need to upgrade his bedroom. But now we can trade with um, settlements and caravans that belong to the Empire. So that's good news for us. Room impressiveness 59 of 60. <laughs> Bro, they started a social fight with each other. No, they killed... What? They killed the bestower. Hang on. So the guy who comes from the Empire to gift you the psychic powers got into a social fight with one of his soldiers and she killed him. And he dropped another Silent Neuroformer and his staff. That's a that's certainly a gift. Uh hey darn sig, why don't you upgrade your Psylink powers one more time? <laughs> oh, he learned smoke pop. Okay. Okay, we don't need smoke launchers anymore. He can uh now he can psychically conjure clouds of smoke. So cool. So cool. All right. Night specific apparel. He needs a top hat. All right. Someone will make him a very nice top hat. Top hat, top hat, top hat. We don't know how to make top hats. All right. Change research. All right, uh, what else do you need, Darn Sig? Undignified throne room? Okay, yeah, your throne room is kind of low quality. Maybe we can make McDougal make something nice out of sandstone to put in there. <laughs> 
That bribe paid off. Yeah, I have never seen that happen before. Hey, go enjoy your workout, Reggie. And uh, yeah, if I don't see you, have a good rest of your day. And if you uh, play Metal Gear Rising, uh, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Oh, she got left behind. The rest of them got in the shuttle and took off, and she got left behind because she was healing herself. I wonder if she'll join my colony. That would be wild. Enjoy your workout? Hey, working out can be enjoyable. What else am I supposed to say? Break a leg? That doesn't sound like something nice to say to someone going to the gym. Good luck. <laughs> oh, man. I break someone else's leg. Oh, choose permit. Okay. All right. We can't summon a Janissary squad. We can, we can do an aerodrome strike. I like this one. I like how the permits are like, okay, you can summon food, steel, you can summon a labor squadron, you can get a shuttle to carry you everywhere. And I'm like, I want reinforcements and I want an orbital bombardment if I get attacked. Those are what I send my, my choices on. When everyone's healed up, we'll try that caravan thing again. It was going to be our Master Arrow and Ken Kaneki, I think. Alright, fast forward through the night. Okay, arrow's fully healed, then we just need to wait on our master to become fully healed, and then we'll, uh, we'll head out. I just realized there's no restrooms in your colony. Surprisingly, not something you have to micromanage in this game. You have to micromanage food, and temperature, <laughs> and equipment, and comfort, but nothing about... It's not like The Sims that, like that, where you have to put bathrooms. Hey, what's up, Sammy? How are you doing today? Oh. Josh proposed a lifelong commitment to Arrow. Arrow agreed, and the two are now engaged. We're going to have another wedding in the colony, guys. Which is good, because that takes, uh... That frees up bedrooms for other people. <laughs> Okay, we need more slate. Oh, there's plenty of slate chunks out there. Pretty sure oxygen not included asks you to manage body waste. I haven't played oxygen not included. I know it's in some games. Like I said, The Sims. It's also on the ship. But uh, not in this game. I'm sh but there's so many mods. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bathroom mod for this game. Install bathrooms, manage plumbing, make sure your colonists don't wet their pants. Dang, if only this person <laughs> uh, didn't die right away and they bled out, we could have stripped them of their clothing, because their clothing is, is made of hyperweave, which is a really good material. Oh well. Actually, should I just reinstall one of these in Darn Sig's throne room? Maybe that's what the right move. A 
Okay, now we can make a top hat for Darn Sig. And we'll have Mares, our expert crafter, make it for you. His right index finger broken off. His manipulation is down, and he needs to be able to manipulate. All right, what do we want to research next? Oh, vitals monitor. We need that for the hospital. Oh, our cow died. Malnutrition. Yeah, and unfortunately we didn't stockpile enough food for the amount of animals we have, and they got sick too. Okay, our master's healed up. Arrow, Ken Kaneki. All right, let's form a caravan. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully Arrow doesn't knock someone out on his way out the door. Hopefully we don't get raided on our way out. All right, we have food, medicine, bedroll. We're going to take one animal with us. So we can carry the equipment back. All right. Let's try this again. Actually, we got raided twice. We had the mechanoids and then the pirates show up at the same time, right? It was a it was a double whammy. Undignified throne room. We put artwork in here and he still calls it undignified. Oh, it's because people aren't wiping their feet off when they go in here and they're making it dirty. Darn Sig does not want a dirty throne room. Oh well. We do have a top hat for you. Where did... Okay. Here you go. Alright, Darn Sig. You got yourself a brand new, super fancy, good quality blue fur top hat to match your knight title. Whenever you're done talking to Toucan. Here he goes. Oh, now someone else can wear the helmet. Oh, maybe I should have Arrow wear the helmet so he doesn't get shot in the head. Well, no, he has the shield belt. I'll have Arrow put on the helmet so he doesn't get killed. And now he should be able to leave. Oh, another cow died. Actually, I think that's all my... Oh, no, I still have a bull. Okay. Oh, I still have... Okay. I still have enough cows we can keep breeding them. We just gotta... Hopefully not let the other cow starve. Arrow, Aura Master. Where's Ken? Ken's bringing the muffalo. Perfect. Alright, we'll be able to get the components from that work site. And they'll help us build more guns and EMP grenades. Why is Arrow assigned to smithing? That shouldn't be. It should be Mares who works on that. No one else. Mares' only job is to craft goods. We don't need to be taking work away from him.
<laughs> Speaking of mares, mares is said on the Discord, how dare you start RimWorld while I'm at work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I thought I heard Rocky getting into something, but he's just sleeping. Wait, why do we have beef out here? Put that back in the freezer before it spoils. We don't have enough space for the beef. Oh, well, time to build another food storage bin. Oh, someone logged in. I'm still logged in on Battle.net. I'll take that off. That was my end. You guys don't have to worry about it. Might need to expand our, our freezer. Probably should clear out this ancient danger and then I can like repurpose this area as a whole other room slash space for the colony. Undignified throne room. He still hates his throne room. Uh, I guess I could have darn Sig make his own artwork. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Make something out of sandstone. As long as you don't have anything that you need to cook. Okay. Alright, we might made it to the work site. I think we're dealing with tribals. Yeah. Okay, so the plan is... Arrow's gonna pretend to engage in melee with them. But that's just so he can run them around and the other two guys with guns can shoot them. Okay, one down. Okay, another one down. All right, we might need to pull back a little. Oh, we did it. No one got hurt. Perfect. We might be able to kidnap these guys if they don't die so fast. Slow learner, nimble, eh. Left kidney destroyed. Eh. This guy. Or gal. Kind of tough. Trigger happy gourmet volatile. Uh, I don't need another gourmand. They keep eating all the food. You know what? We might just... Uh, <laughs> we might just leave the bodies. We'll take the weapons for us. We can sell them or smelt them. That's free iron or steel. All right. Good job, everyone. See, that went perfect. Arrow did exactly what I wanted him to do, which was distract. Okay, bring the components. Bring anything made out of steel. You know what? We'll bring the urns. At least we can try break those down. And the pemmican... All right, go home. Good job. 
Oh, easy raid. Easy components. Nothing to worry about. Get another pallet built. Okay, we got a lot of plasteel waiting for us. That's good. Because I have the sidearms mod... I think that's a combat extended mod. I can give characters like Aura Master who have high... Okay, Aura Master is a bad example. I can give characters like Josh who have high shooting and melee. I can give him a melee weapon so if someone gets in close combat with him, he won't try to like jab him with the butt of the gun like they do in vanilla RimWorld. He'll actually swap to whatever his sidearm melee weapon is. In this case, it could be a plasteel longsword. It'll make him more deadly. Another mech cluster? Didn't we just deal with a mech cluster? Oh my god, and this one's a toxic spewer. Alright, this is gonna require... Rip Colony? No. We'll just have to be a little bit more creative. Oh wait, is it already spewing toxic? It's already blanking the region in tox toxicity. Alright, we need... We need Aura, Ken, and... Wow, did it land in the same spot? It pretty much did. All right, um, we have to deal with this right away, but I want to wait for these guys to make it back because they're three of my best soldiers. <laughs> Why am I toxic indeed? The AI is really, really giving it to us right now. Hey, what's up, Blazing Frost? Anyone get killed in an animal attack? Not yet. Visitors want to... Yeah. You can come visit. I'm not sure it's one person. Yeah, you're not going to have a great time. But Blazing Frost, you did get named in the game. This is you. You are an undergrounder, quick sleeper, melee, minor, social pawn. We are glad to have you. A psychic drone now, too. Yeah, just keep piling it on. Keep piling it on, Randy. Don't give me a break. Thorzo needs new clothes. Oh, we need new gloves again. But yeah, no one killed yet. We're waiting for my soldiers to return home after a successful raid, and then we're going to deal with this mech cluster defending this toxic spewer. Do I have reinforced barrels? Maybe... No, I don't have any yet. Okay. The chance that I get to get reinforced a reinforced barrel and I can make mortars, that's what we're going to go for next. Mm. Wants to perform a low power test on one of the ship's area attack weapons. If he does, a distant EMA diamond dynamo will blast Eureka with an EMI field, shutting down electronical devices for four days. Ugh. 
No electricity for four days means no refrigeration for all our food, so I can't, I can't do that. Why is there a fire? Does the toxic field get bigger if you don't take care of it? No, it doesn't get bigger. It blankets the whole area in it, but it's like a stacking debuff. So the more you're in it, the more and more toxicity you pick up. Thankfully, I don't think anyone's been outside in it long enough to pick up any... Uh, here you go. My animals have toxic buildup initial... So, you can see the longer they're in it, the more it, it picks up. Actually, it dipped away for a second there. Yeah, 5.8. So, maybe I need to build a bigger barn so I can keep my animals indoors better. Oh, hang on, the muffalo's inside. All right. Have it drop everything. All right, need Ken to unload his inventory. Um, you can, um, you can make gas masks to help protect people from it, but I, I didn't make any because I didn't know that I was going to get hit by it, so I don't have any ready. All right, does everyone have a gun at least? All right. Oh, Karma, we can get you... A better gun. Hey, Ludwig, World of Order. One year as an apprentice. Thank you so much. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? Yeah. Or you do the Cave Johnson route. You make grenades out of those lemons. Or something. I don't remember the whole quote exactly. But hey, thank you so much for the continued support. Hope you're doing well, my dude. All right, we need to gather everyone up. It's conquerors, yeah, they're awake enough. Sounds like something out of worms, also true. Okay, we need darn sig in this one. No, oh, Cholo's powers haven't recharged yet. All right, we're gathering everyone for this one. Josh. You make lemon pie and sell it as apple pie? Yeah, lemon meringue pie sounds so good right now. But who am I to turn down any dessert? I'm not that picky. All right, so the plan is we're still going to approach under cover of the smoke clouds from Conkers and Darn Sig. We're also going to have Darn Sig. Oh, wait, we just got the aerodrome strike. No line of sight to target. Alright, get ready. Hopefully we get more than just the one? Uh, 
Oh, uh, we need a smoke screen. All right, arrow. All right, good job, arrow. Okay, sorry I'm pausing a lot. I'm trying to micromanage this. I need arrow to get in there. I need a smoke cloud there to protect arrow. Okay. All right, so far so good. Actually, I think arrow can just take care of this the rest of the way. As long as they don't explode on him. Yeah. So the turrets have a minimum range. So if you're inside this field, they can't target you. So Arrow... Can just do this the rest of the way. Oh! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh my god. Alright. Arrow didn't die. This dude needs to get out of the way. He's going to take friendly fire. Oh, Conkers, we don't need you anymore. Hey, we did it. You know, I probably didn't need to call in the airstrike or the, um, the trooper squad. We did that pretty much just... Actually, we probably just needed Darn Sig and Arrow. The two of them could have done it themselves. We just needed Darn Sig to put Psychic Smoke Clouds to protect Arrow on his way in. But hey, that worked really well. So good job, everyone. No one died. No one got... No one even got hurt. So that was perfect. Better to be safe than sorry, though, I guess. It's true. The only... The only thing is the permits have a cooldown. So I have... 40 days till I can call in this trooper squad and 45 days until I can call in an aerodrone strike. So almost three seasons for both of them, which is 75% of a year. So it's kind of a long cooldown, but uh, better than nothing. We just need my smarts and Arrow's hard chiseled muscle. <laughs> yeah, Arrow was taking friendly fire, but that shield belt did work. He didn't get hurt at all. Fingers crossed another one doesn't pop up soon. Yeah, we've got two mech raids back to back it felt like so yeah hopefully they lay off on the mechs for a while at least until I can get a mortar set up and if they drop one of those like toxic spears again I can just shell the building to death and then deal with the turrets or whatever else that remain All right. Hospital time. Uh, let's get a medicine cabinet. Space and a hospital bed. Space, bed, bed, space, bed. And then mirror it. We'll build a jade dresser. And jade end tables. And then we put the vital sensors 
here and here. Whenever we uh, get to that. What else do I need? Oh, we need lights. Duh. Furniture, lamp, lamp, the lamp. All right. Karma's having a major break wrist. Risk. Want great ethicist apparel. Oh, he needs a hood. Is there someone wearing a hood that shouldn't be wearing a hood? No. Where's the spare hood? Oh, I sold it, didn't I? Alright, we need to make a hood for Karma. So that way Karma doesn't have a mental break because he doesn't have the specific hat he wants to wear. Oh, and Karma should probably get his own bedroom now. That'll keep a, a colony from breaking. Okay, we got this set up. We have too much meat, not enough storage space. What are we going to do when the rice comes in? All right, we'll put more storage buckets down. So far, things are pretty good. We fought off a couple of raids really successfully, so... Oh, the psychic drone is ending. Alright, things are looking up. Oh, we can make the ground-penetrating radar now. I have enough advanced components for this. A long range mineral scanner. This will help us find more materials. Oh, a trade ship is passing by. It's a combat supplier. my communications all right what do we want from the communications or from the combat supplier I felt like I mentioned that there was something I needed oh I have EMP grenades are we working on another set oh no we finished the set okay reinforced barrels that's what we wanted all right we can sell the knives and stuff we picked up. Low quality auto pistol, revolver, revolver, revolver. Oh, we also have a lot of gold. Gold will help us make some money. We sell 200 pieces. Okay. Uh, there's a mono sword. There's a Zeus hammer, which if we get attacked by Max, give that to Arrow and send them at him. Has an EMP capacitor so he can knock them out. 
stun them. Uh, let's buy the components. Let's buy a barrel. Let's see. Do we really want a reprocessor stomach? Probably. I could sell this prestige recon helmet. It's worth almost 800 gold. I'm just trying to end the LTEC staff is another 400. I'm just trying to see if I can get to Zeus, the Zeus hammer for arrow. All right, you know, we'll get rid of the staff. I'll get rid of the helmet. Oh, he has three of those Zeus hammers. All right, we'll take one. Now the stomach is worth another 700. That would get us there money wise. Alright, I, I, I don't need... We have plenty of food. We don't need to worry about food efficiency. We can get rid of the stomach. Alright, that's probably good enough. And taking his six components... He actually has some medicine. We can take two pieces and still make a profit. Very minor profit, but still a profit. Haul, haul, haul. There's the Zeus hammer. Arrow, look at your brand new melee weapon. A war hammer with an embedded EMP capacitor upon impact that blasts the target with an EMP burst in addition to physical damage. It's clobbering time for Arrow. That's right, Rocky. Rocky, what's wrong? <laughs> it's like when he looks at me and wags his tail. Nothing's wrong. One of my muffalo died of the flu. Okay, Arrow, I need you to use your brand new Zeus hammer and break this thing down. So we can free up that space in our new area here. I imagine those mechs probably won't like being hit with EMPs. No, definitely not. How much damage does he do a hit? Oh, it doesn't show damage meters on the scenery. Yeah, the e the EMP system is kind of cool because also if he hits a another colonist, like a raider, and if it's someone who has a bionic stomach or any other stomach uh, add-on, let's say, the EMP will give them an upset stomach and they won't be able to fight because they'll be too busy vomiting. If they have a neural implant, like anything in the brain, like a psychic reader, psychic harmonizer, and he they get hit by an EMP from this, they uh, uh, it knocks them out. They go unconscious. So yeah, fighting people who have Zeus hammers when you have like uh, bionic attachments and stuff, Arrow shuts all. Will now be able to shut all that down and cause extreme discomfort. Okay, he does about between 12 and 50 damage a hit. I'm looking at the HP bar down here. It's kind of a wide range of damage, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Blunt says 34 damage per attack. What is it getting magnified by? Does a higher melee stat mean you do more damage in melee? It must. Yeah, that was 54 damage on that attack. 
Uh, on other playthroughs, I've had pawns with Zeus hammers get into melee and uh, hit someone in the head and obliterate, like, just shatter the skull. Like, the corpse, when it comes out afterwards, is like this, where there's no head attached. Right, good job, buddy. I, I need to give him some body armor here soon. What do we need to make flak vests? We're missing cloth. All right, so we need our cotton to grow in. Okay, I need to section off a larger area for the animals. I don't know how we're going to do that. Unless I section off like this. Which isn't impossible. Okay, we got a hood. Alright, Karma, come enjoy your new hat! Actually, you're right there. Should be happy now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you can smell Iqua and knives. There's an Iqua right there. Build skull spikes. Okay. Things are shaping up nicely. I think we crack open the ancient danger here soon. Let's see what we're dealing with in here. Let's see what kind of goodies are waiting for us. Anyone hurt? No? Alright, we're probably ready to do this. As soon as as soon as our master eats a, a meal, so his food is up, then, one, then we'll crack open one square of the ancient danger. Actually, you know, what? we can go a step further. We can reinforce. We could put our turrets over there to help. All right, we'll crack open the ancient danger. Our turrets will help clear this out. And then we can loot the goodies inside. There could be colonists inside too. That are in like a cryogenic. They might want to join us. Another food storage barrels ready. Oh yeah, we open this up. We could probably just like extend our hallway to connect it. I will just have like a whole room dedicated to it. Like 
already built out and roofed up, and then we just repurpose it for something else. Maybe a laboratory, maybe more... Might be another production room. My animals are dying from the flu. Oh, Baron has... Baron needs a new pair of gloves. All right. Who's my construction guy? Aura Master. I'm going to have him prioritize on relocating the turrets. So we can get ready to fight. I don't actually don't know what all you can find in an ancient danger. I think you can either be attacked by insects, mechs, or colonists. Woken up from their cryogenic freeze and they freak out. Uh, undignified bedroom. Oh, the room impressiveness is low. Well, I know drapes are required at some point. So we'll make him a very pretty drape. What's the highest quality for... Oh, we could do a... Th oh, we don't have enough thrombo fur. Man, I'm pulling up the RimWorld wiki. We're going to look at the drape and see what the highest beauty is per material. Uh, synth thread, fox, bear, heavy... It might be Muffalo Wool. That's 11. Yeah, that's one point better than Blue Fur. Alright, that should make your room prettier and make you happier. Alright. Oh no, everyone's going to sleep. Okay. Tomorrow, when everyone's awake, we'll crack open this ancient danger and see what we're dealing with in here. How did you not... Hey, that sucks that we had a muffalo die and we didn't... We didn't actually butcher it in time. Waste of meat. Speaking of meat, we don't I don't think we need any more anytime soon. We have 1,350 pieces of muffalo meat and 2,300 pieces of elk meat. I uh, don't know what our meat consumption per day is, but that should last us hopefully a while. Hey, what's up, Warlock? Testing? What are you testing? Vitals monitor is good. Uh, advanced autopsy is fine to go back to. Thought I can't post. Did it not let you post before? McDougal tried to attract Karma Kid by implying good things about his own parents. Karma Kid responded well and is now McDougal's lover. Wait, hang on. I thought... Oh, no. Never mind. I thought Karma Kid got engaged, but that must have been someone else. Oh, it was Josh and Arrow. Oh, wow. They left 13 components. How nice.
All right, we get this wool drape built for darn Sig. That should make his bedroom more dignified. It helped, but it wasn't high enough. Okay. Uh, another pair of gloves, because someone put on a tattered pair. Okay. Let's gather up some soldiers. I don't know how, how bad this is going to go. Is Dorzo? Okay, Dorzo's got good shooting. Okay. Arrow deconstruct this, and then I'll put him, I'll draft him. Oh, there are mechs in there. Glitter World Medicine is nice. Oh, how do I want to approach this? Who got hit? Ken got hit. Minor hit. Hey, welcome back, Death. Oh, there's insects in there, too. Hey, what's up, Niblish? Oh wait, they're neutral. They're not attacking me. Oh, maybe we should provide backup for these guys. Oh, Arizona got hit. Can we recruit these people? Oh, there's a psychic animal pulser. Ken got hit again. <gasps> no! That's the first death! Alright, Arrow just needs to kill this in melee. Arizona 350. Here's 350 to pay off any giant crustaceans from the Paleolithic area that could possibly show up in the future of Rimworld. <laughs> Thank you for the 350. Come on, Arrow. No! Dorzo! Okay, this is this was a bad idea. All right, if anyone is hurt too much, I'm retreating. How is this thing not dead yet? Okay, we killed one. Killed the other. Yeah, 
Yeah, rips and chat. Oh, can we rescue this person? Oh, capture. Oh, did we shoot them by accident? Oh, they have good equipment. Okay, Arrow, we're going to strip them before they bleed out. Okay, and then... Capture. Oh, um... Well, we should have some free bedrooms now that we had some people die. Alright, did Dorzo have his own room? Did Ar Oh, that was... Arizona... Oh, Arizona's not dead. That was Ken and Dorzo. Okay. Uh, Alright. We'll set this to Conquers. And we can set this for Prisoners. And then we can recruit jo Jonu. Hopefully they're not about to die anytime soon. All right. <sighs> Excuse me. Losing Dorzo sucks. Dorzo had really high intellect. Cooking, melee shooting, good soldier. Ken. Yeah, also sad. All right. Funeral opportunities. Uh. Hopefully there's something good in this crate, too. Uh, anyone who's high on construction... Oh, Mew Mew's doing the doctoring thing. Okay. Oh, Baron had a leg shot off. Crap. I don't exactly have a spare leg lying around. Oh, we can make a bionic leg. Let's get our masterwork and excellent heavy SMGs back, at least. No, no, no. We can get bionic legs. I have an arm laying around if someone lost an arm, but that didn't happen. need to socialize this guy. Is he even worth keeping? Oh, Bloodlust and Tough. Alright, Tough is really good. Bloodlust is really good. High medical, high intellect. Okay. We could make Jono work. Not the best pawn to replace the two pawns that we lost, but it's better than nothing. And Tough is a really good trait to have. My friend Dorzo died. My friend Ken Kaneki died. Oh, and witnessed an ally's death. And then there's probably colonists left unburied. Colonists died? Yeah. All people dying just stab stuff up. Stack the debuffs up. Yeah, you're not getting a neural supercharge. Couldn't type. Now I can. I'm not changing any of the settings on my Twitch. So I, I don't know why. It says you couldn't type before.
Well, Arrow did work with that, uh... Um, man, we should bring all this inside. Hall. 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 Before it deteriorates from being outdoors. Oh, you're on an app. Gotcha. Okay, who, t who did Blazing Frost put on the recon armor? Why? If anyone has rights to the recon armor, it should be Arrow. Yeah, you see how it's taking you a long time to take that off? I want arrow and body armor so he doesn't get beat up in melee like that. Man, centipedes have a ton of health. I didn't think there would be three of them in there, but oh, that was a rough fight. Anyway, what's new? Oh, not a whole lot. Just a three-day weekend. Might take Rocky to the pet store after the stream. Pick up his new food. Get him a, a toy or a treat or something for being a good boy. How are you doing, Warlock? Okay, Mew Mew, I need you to work on the graves. Hopefully we can get this guy recruited. He took a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots before just going down. He also has a love enhancer, so if any of the other colonists want to get with him, he's got a he's got that love enhancer. All right, where is? Where do we put our corpses? Hang on. We need to have the funeral for the guys. Where do we put the bodies? Oh, we put him in the sarcophagi. Okay. Well. That works for me. I didn't know we had sarcophagus to put them in. Hey, what's up, Wild Jordan? How are you doing? the armor so it's out of the open and then I'll have arrow wear it when he wakes up all right so that whole shebang was my fault oh I'm doing good it's the wake weekend a three-day weekend I'm pretty happy 
now I can have Arrow put on the body armor when he wakes up, which is now, I guess. Weekend here too. Nice. There you go. Arrow's looking like a soldier now. He's got that helmet, the body armor, shield belt. Ready to kick some butt the next time someone tries to mess with the colony. Though we provoked that fight. This is totally 100% our fault and uh, did not go well. But hey, now we have this structure we can repurpose and make our own. Actually, what if we slap a door right there and then this will seal this off? We can deconstruct all these steles these statues all right we need to make a prosthetic leg for Arizona no aura master no Baron. Baron lost the leg. Alright, we make a prosthetic leg for him so he can walk better. And then hopefully the... We had a couple people die, so hopefully the AI will back off on us for a while. Give us time to build back up. Hauling the goodies out. Hey, we had a tech print for artificial metabolism. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll have Arizona apply the tech print. Oh, the Mega Scarabs, we can tame those. I didn't realize. They're part of the wildlife now. Oh, alright. Time to hold the funerals. get some screenshots there we go gotta gotta take screenshots so we have uh, material for future thumbnails because uh, I recycle thumbnails too much Probably have I'll probably just do both funerals back to back. I do kind of like the effect of the aura coming down. All right, that one was good. People are going to watch from outside. Yeah. 
So that'll give everyone a mood boost. Um, it's basically just to counteract the um, the points of uh, the mood loss from having friends and colonists die. All right. Good funerals. That should help everyone's mood. All right. Is this considered indoors now? Okay, we can hold that open. I didn't realize we trapped two mega scarabs in there. I don't want the insects to go nuts. Alright, so time to deconstruct all the stuff. And we'll think about what to repurpose that room into. But now we have more space to work with. Okay, we got sandstone. Elbow pop that time. All right. Oh, research. What do we want to research? Oh, fabrication. The next step in uh, crafting. Oh, we can put the vital monitors in now. That'll help everyone uh, heal up faster. Right, I'm looking for more steel to chop. Chop. <laughs> to mine. I thought we had some big nodes we hadn't touched yet. There's a spot right there, but I thought we had a, more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Alright, deconstruct all this, too. Probably take the steel up from the ground here. Oh, this is the chunk I was looking for, I think. Oh no, this is just trimmed back. Oh, here's the other steel I was looking at. Problem is, this is all out in the marsh, so it's hard to get to. But we don't need it right away. Well, we recruited two new people and we lost two people. But we're working on recruiting a third person. This guy's global certainty loss factor is not very high. 60%. Hopefully we can recruit him. I would like a tough pawn. More tough pawns. Tattered. Why is everyone wearing the same pair of crappy gloves? Mm. 
Oh, solar flare. That sucks. Alright, he fell from 66 to 48. He loses about 4% a day. Oh, 4% per person a day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we should have him recruited in 3 days. Alright, Baron Von Kame. Install... Prosthetic leg, left leg. Yeah, that should restore not all of his mobility, but a lot of mobility. Okay. Oh, is the operation already done? Oh, he hasn't rested yet. Okay, now the operation will be... will come underway here soon. Just in time, since the uh, lights kicked back on. Alright, highest tier doctor is probably Cholo or Javian. Wait, can't install prosthetic leg, need material? We have the material. I hate it when the game does this. There's a way to trick it. Where is the prosthetic leg? Oh, Meow has it. Well, she has five medical. Hopefully that's good enough. Alright, we will make surgical mask for her. And doctor scrubs. Since so she wants to play doctor. All right, good luck, Baron. Let's hope this uh, doesn't fail. Because I don't want to lose, I don't want to have to make another prosthetic leg, and I don't want the surgery to go bad. I had a silver vein somewhere. Here we go. Please, 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 please. Okay, it worked. He has a prosthetic leg now. It's only 85 as percent efficient as a normal leg, but it's better than not than no leg. And good news, Meow Mew leveled up from that. She is now a capable amateur. Oh, man. So ancient dangers are more dangerous than I had initially anticipated. Losing two colonists. Huge feels bad moment. I might start making flak helmets. So that way, well, no, we need flak vests so people don't get shot up so much. So we have more body armor to put on people. But we need. 
cloth to do that, so we need the cotton to grow in. Alright, we need a double shelf. Oh, we don't have any... We don't have any way of making biofuel, do we? We have biofuel refining, but we don't have a refinery. Well, we'll just throw that in the middle of the hallway. I'm going to do the EMI field. Oh, this guy leaves in seven days. I want barrel and shells. So that way, after they take so many shots off of the mortar, their ammo's right there, and then they can swap out the barrel right there. Things are okay for now. Got any plans for Saturday? Like I said, I'm taking Rocky to the pet store. But beyond that, I don't really have anything else planned. at home hopefully not talk to anyone nice that's a solid plan So the reason why I want to wall this off is that way I can chop through, mine through this hunk of rock right here. And then that should hopefully uh, connect my, make my base feel more like one whole structure and not a couple of disjointed buildings. Okay, if we're going to make a high explosive shell, we need 15 chem fuel. Which is, times 20 is like 300. 
So we need to do this 10 times. All right. Okay, we're breaking down the stuff in there. Getting the long distance scanner and ground penetrating scanner set up. So the ground penetrating scanner will let us search the map that we're on for underground sources of iron and steel or steel and other components the long range mineral scanner we can find spots on the world map that we can go and mine stuff from we can set it to different materials too uh, but I'm going to leave it on gold I think because we can sell gold and make a lot of money from gold all right, we're low on steel, so we'll go ahead and mine out these steel chunks. Oh, our hops are growing in, so now we're making beer again. Good to know. High carving desired. Requires you to have a high carving if your expectations are high or higher. Uh, it's a grand sculpture. It can be created at the art bench. Um, I guess that goes in our temple. It's 400 of a material to make it. Uh, I guess it's going to have to be sandstone unless I get enough jade. But I don't think there's any jade on the map. Nope. because I used all the jade to make my furniture in here. <laughs> well, we got flat screen TVs that we can put in the hospital. That's uh, That'll keep people happy while they're hurt and injured. gonna get walled off all right do we have enough power I think so All right. Guys, I think I'm going to play about a half an hour longer, and then we will pop off, and I will go take Rocky to do the errands that I need to, and then you guys can go enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank you for watching so far.
Crazy day of RimWorld, though, with the constant raiding and breaking the ancient danger. Oh, he doesn't have to... I don't know why he's roofing this. Hang on. How do I disallow... Architect zone, ignore roof. Here we go. Okay. Now it should be able to tunnel through here, tunnel through here. And that'll connect this stuff up. Oh, we have visitors. Try to make them happy. Oh, I thought I told this to get deconstructed. Oh, well. music product wasted oh he was trying to shear the animals and he didn't do a good job Hopefully this hill doesn't have like any overhanging mountain head or whatever so we can clear it all down. We have this oddly shaped structure. <laughs> Good news, it's ours. Doesn't belong to anyone else now. If we research fabrication, we can maybe make this a new produ production facility. Tattered clothes? Is it gonna be gloves again? Oh no, he needs a new broad wrap. But it's about time for that. Mayor's new broad wrap for you. And it is not tattered. Oh, Arrow wants to work on the grand sculpture. Okay, well then art is going to be your priority because I want you to finish making that. 
before people get upset that we don't have one. Okay, I wonder if we have enough room to hunt some animals. Okay. We struck gold ore. Oh, there was gold hanging. There's gold in them hills. Just right in our backyard, we had gold hanging out. All right, we have a lot of slate we can go through. Uh, let us uh, floor off the remaining bedrooms. Alright. Let's hope the AI keeps giving me some breathing room because uh, I don't mind the peace and quiet while we're hunting and mining and building. Okay, is there any... Oh, we can add this geothermal probably to our power network. It's not that far off. It might be the last steam geyser. Oh, no, there's one all the way down here too dumb here. Those are kind of far away. I don't think we'll reach them. Well, we've gathered a ton of steel in the meantime. Here, we'll just plot that out for now. We need to build up some more stone so we can build some walls. Hey, what's up, Abby? Oh no, the bots! The bots are back. I went a couple streams without them showing up. Oh, double bot attack. Hey, good morning, Indra Kurosaki. Welcome to the stream. Sorry about the uh, bot spam in the chat, but uh, otherwise, how are you doing today? Oh, that was a good stretch. Alright, we're getting our kitchen stockpiled again. I was hoping if I made this a home area, that they would uh, clean it out. Derek raid? Oh, yeah, from the bots. What's up, Valor? It's actually kind of funny you say that, because they do use the same... They use the same emojis that he uses. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't know if you guys heard that noise that Rocky made. That was a weird snort. <laughs> Getting the bedrooms built up. How 
How are you doing today, Fog? Hope you're doing well on this Saturday. There is a thin rock roof here. Does that mean it'll collapse? Can I tell them to remove the rock roof? Oh, it looks like they will. Cool. Alright, so that'll prevent the rocks from creating too much of an overhang and falling on us. So, that should mean we can keep mining. good. Rocky let me sleep in a little bit. Oh, roof has collapsed. Okay, never mind. Did anyone get hurt? No. Oh, overhead mountain. Alright, we can't do anything about overhead mountains. Alright, this might be as much as I can mine out. I think we were lucky that no one got hit by these. I do think I need a bigger barn, or I need to make a bigger designated area for the animals. Oh, we can't mine them out because they're gonna just keep collapsing. Alright, well, that's a permanent fixture now. Alright, we have some new guests. Anyone we want to recruit? Um, the gor gorilla has melee construction and plants. Racha has construction, crafting, and intellect. Bainrar, shooting melee plants, tough and nimble. Here you go. Any health issues? All right, you guys try to be friends with him. Echidna. Kind, hyper, sensitive to psychic, too smart, shooting melee animals, artistic. Alright, you guys try to befriend Echidna too. Forgot we can recruit people out of hospitality, so that might be a way we can get some um, uh, new, new names from the queue. We can apparently recruit Augustina. Mining and intellect, a lazy jogger. She has five EMP shells. Now I'll, I'll hold out for someone else because if I recruit from a faction, I think it damages our faction relations slightly. So I don't want to make them upset that I'm, I'm siphoning off their people. So we'll hold off on that for now. Oh, this is all rich soil. We might be able to build out our walls. 
around this and make this a new huge garden for us. Because otherwise we just have this little spot, which isn't doing gr is doing okay for us, but it's not the best. All right, fast forward through the night. I forgot. I have enough bedrooms, right? Okay. So hoping we'd clean this up, but so far no one's come in to clean out all the blood and vomit and dirt. They left some shoes, a chef uniform, and a heavy fur fleece shirt. Let's drag those in. Chef uniform increases cooking speed, butchering efficiency, and cleanliness. Oh, but Darnsig already has a cloth uni chef uniform. And we don't have any other cooks. Okay, Mew Mew is a cook. Oh, but I'm going to make her a doctor, so she doesn't need the cloth. She doesn't need the chef outfit. At least not yet. Alright, do we have this Jono guy recruited yet? How close is he? 11% till we get him to change ideal legends, and then we can start recruiting him. Oh, he has no resistance. Ancient soldiers have base resistance 0 to 1. Alright, he'll be easy to recruit. I just need to convert him to our religion first. So, uh, this is going pretty well so far. Alright, I might think about... a pod launcher. And the reason why we want a pod launcher is we can load it with spare goods that we don't need. And we haven't seen anyone to sell to in a while. Like, um... Like, these odd clothing items. Like this poor hoodie. Or this poor shotgun. Oh, it's bio-coded. Oh, but we're gonna recruit Jono. We can give him his own bio-coded shotgun back. Uh... Why is that on the chat? Why is what on the chat? The spam messages? I mean, I deleted it, but it won't delete it off of the on-screen chat. If that's what you're asking about. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything about the bots. I just ban them as soon as I see them. But don't, don't go to the website. It's not the best dating website, even though they say it is. They're everywhere, unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm surprised it's taken YouTube this long to figure out a solution. You'd think with all their automated systems, they would know bots by now. Hit <laughs> mid at best. <laughs> yeah, they're... they're they're overselling how good they are. 
Okay, maybe if I claim everything in here. Rice harvest is coming in. This is good. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Arrow and Josh's marriage. Wedding time. I should put a wedding spot down. My sister can't cook the rice in one minute. They they make one minute rice, don't they? Someone needs a rice cooker? I would love to have a rice cooker. Am I running the ceremony? You know, I don't have a persona in the colony. I've seen some streamers do that. Oh, your family is Asian? Excuse me. I thought rice takes like 15 minutes. Unless you get microwavable rice. Well, Arrow's almost done with this grand sculpture. Hey, Cyber Angel Yukikaze. Thank you for following over on Twitch. Welcome to the workshop. Why well, have a persona in the game when you can play God? That's true. My mom says you need to be a lawyer or doctor, nothing else. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate she's playing in the, the stereotype, but it's parents always want the best for their kids too. So they want you to a achieve something high. Uh, Yuko Saiguji. I hope I said that right. My Japanese, I have not used my Japanese in a long time, but thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Welcome to the workshop. The immigrant family experience, also true. Oh, I have to screenshot the wedding. Who's getting married? Josh and Arrow are getting married. And everyone's gathered. And now they're celebrating. Alright, I'm glad I grabbed a couple screenshots of that. I need to... I'm trying to be better about taking screenshots for the... Um, for making thumbnails for the channel. Oh, now we can put Arrow and... Um, What's their name in the same bed? Arrow and Josh. All right, Karma, you don't get your own bed anymore. I always like the two detail of the two getting married lingering in the room a little longer. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. If that's a if they added that little subtle detail, that's nice. I just want my colonists to all marry each other, so that way the be I only need half as many bedrooms. It's like Aura and Arizona have a bed. Now Arrow and Josh, they have a bedroom, and I don't have to make another one. <laughs> I 
I need my colonists to get married, not for their convenience, but for my convenience. I have no marriages or lovers in my colony. You know, I thought the... There's a psychic power called... Uh, do I have it? I don't think I have it. No. But you, you can get a psychic power called Word of Love. And at first I was like, why would I want to, like, influence my colonists to marry each other, right? And then as I started building out nicer bedrooms and how much space... This is eight bedrooms. I look at all the space it takes up. And I started to go, oh, okay. I have that power that ain't doing it. Oh, no, that sucks. So I was like, oh, yeah, if I can make everyone fall in love with each other and force them to share a bed, that requires half as many bedrooms. And that's nicer than trying to force them into these barracks. I mean, the lonely ones have to sleep in the barracks because those are single beds. Who says love needs to be involved? Well, the superpower is called Word of Love, so I assume that there's some... some amorous... No, that's not the right word. Not avarice, because that's greed. Amorous. Amorous. Oh my god. Amorous. I was saying it right. Oh wait, no, that says feeling or relating to sexual desire. No, 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 passion. That's a better word. Or maybe amorous works too, I don't know. You, you think the, <laughs> you're just there's got to be a little spark and you just got to use the word of love superpower and you just hold a, a match to that spark and then you make it go come on you're crash landed on a strange planet fighting for survival for two years love can blossom in stranger places Where's Karma Kid? There. My coffee got cold. I wish I didn't spill half of it earlier. In Napoli, where love is king, when boy meets girl, here's what they say. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. <laughs> we need a spark and some flammable gas. Yeah, that's love right there, darn sig. Methane and uh, a match. All right, I know I said it was going to end around this time. I'll stream for a little bit longer. I don't want to get up and go do stuff. So I'm going to make you guys my excuse to not doing stuff. Maybe about uh, another... It's like hitting snooze. Just boop, hit, give me another 30 minutes and then we'll go do stuff. No, not again. Oh my god, there's multiple... It was two different bots at the same time. Oh. There's something weird about YouTube chat where they can queue up the messages. 
So even if I hit no on like the first one, it'll still let two or three come through before uh, it finally it clears them out. All right, we have a, tr a war caravan coming in to trade with us. Uh, we got, a, I don't know if we have much stuff to sell them. We have some stuff. Uh, what do we want from them? We want components, advanced components, medicine. I don't know what else we can get away with. Putting a sleeping spot on the floor because instead of sending four people when I only had four bedrooms, they sent five. Alright. They have no components. They have medicine. Alright, we can sell them the revolvers, the shotgun. Our old boots. Oh, I have tons of gold I can sell them. All right, what do we want from them? They have a Zeus hammer, but it's only normal quality. EMP launcher. Oh, flak vests and a flak jacket. A recon helmet? Okay, we can get a recon helmet for arrow. Couple of flak vests. A flak jacket. That'll be some armor for us. Sell them the go juice. Steel knife. Hundred. Gonna let go 300 pieces of gold. Why not? Okay, these boots are 73 quality, so we can keep those. Uh, keep the SMGs. Keep the chain shotgun, probably. Oh, crap. Uh, everyone, haul urgently. New helmet for Arrow to match his recon body armor. That should keep him from getting beat up too much. Alright, guests. Oh, we had four friends, and then it went to three. Someone PO'd one of our guests, and now they don't want to join us. Oh, the other guest left it. Oh, no, they're still there. Oh, crap. Hang on. I need to put that sleeping spot back down. Hey, Baron's cleaning up all the blood, sweat, and tears that's in this room. And vomit and slime. It's a lot of grossness in that room. Whoever makes the worst joke sleeps on the floor. Yeah, I agree. We should make it a <laughs> a comedy contest. All right, in four days, we'll have beer. Once this expands out to here, we can move this pump. It'll have done its job.
Oh, did we get the helmet in? Okay, we researched fabrication. Now we can make our own recon armor. Oh, Arizona, I need you to drop the helmet. That's not your helmet. Arrow is going to wear that helmet. Arizona put on the flak jacket? Yeah, that's fine. As long as you don't get too cold wearing that. I'd say all, that's how they balance the armor in this game. Because you could put everyone in just like full cataphract armor. But the armor doesn't insulate against temperature. And temperature can be very dangerous in this game. Because you can get hypothermia. Or you can overheat. So you need to wear temperature regulating clothes. So while it might be tempting to throw everyone into body armor, you might want to balance out between good clothing and armor. Alright, so if this place is built up, I should be able to put a fabrication bench in here? Somewhere? Or do I want one closer to here? I'm trying to think what's the best way to organize this. The unfortunate thing is the fabrication benches are so big that you can't relocate them. So once you place it, it's kind of like locked in. I'll do it here. Not enough components stored. Well, we can fix that. We have spots where we can get components. Hey, they gave us some plasteel. Came back to check on you. How are things working out? We're doing good, Credo. Um, we recruited two new people. We unfortunately had two people die. So, uh, in terms of colonist count, we've kept things pretty balanced. We got our hospital built. We're starting to get good armor. We got Arrow in full recon gear here in a little bit. And he has a Zeus hammer. So, yeah, I'd say, uh... Pretty good. The entire colony has not been wiped out. That's a, that's a plus. This is all roofed in. Yep, okay. Is it possible for me to join if you get a new recruit? Yeah, just type exclamation point join and we'll add you to the list. And then when I get a new recruit, I pull from the list randomly. And the list is about 20 people long, so you have about a 5% chance of being selected. That's not terrible odds though. I know there's com compacted machinery there. Might tune this to components since we need more. Well, yeah, I used to do it on a first come, first serve basis, but then I felt like that wasn't fair. So now I do it as a kind of like a raffle, I guess you could say. We got an interesting fight at your knighthood ceremony. Oh, yeah. That was wild. I have never seen that happen before, but I might clip that. They show up. They say, all right, darn sig, you are a knight. The bestower turns to leave, and then one of the bodyguards, like, just kills the bestower. Oh, Blazing Frost. Okay, you're not allowed to wear the gas mask. 
Because that interrupts your ability to talk to people. Alright, we're working on the high carving. Arrow's still got 368 work to do to take it out, to finish it. Here he goes. Put some more work on it. Ooh, we can tuck like a tool cabinet right in there. Though I think the tool cabinets are better to be centralized and you put the production buildings around them. Now we can put a door. Since we cleared out all this rock here, now we can put a door right here. Trade caravan's leaving. We already got what we wanted from it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hang on. Am I on... Oh, no. I thought it was on, like, the laggy mode, but... No, I think we're good. I don't know. We could also probably clip out the ancient danger and not talking to people as you dream. Well, unfortunately, you rolled with social as like your second highest stat. And if your job is to socialize, I can't have you wearing a gas mask and talking to people like Bane because they'll get offended and then they won't want to join our colony. And I'm trying to recruit as many people as I can. I got, I got a list 20 names long I'm trying to add people to. Actually, I'm going to double check the queue. I don't know if you signed up last time, Credo. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I was going to say. The names on the list carry from stream to stream. So if you don't get in... Why would a mask, gas mask make them look like Bane? It's just uh, how they balance out the gas mask. So... Um, when you're wearing it, it reduces your toxic sensitivity, but uh, it also reduces your communication traits, talking, sight, and hearing. Bane is a big guy for you. Harold, what are you doing? Going for a walk? All right, you can go for a walk. It's like you're, you've got like... 20 work. I don't know how they measure work. But let's say you're 20 minutes away from finishing this sculpture and you're going to go for a walk. But that's fine. You've been working on it for a while. I slept in the heat? Okay, this is a problem. Is it too hot in my... It is too hot in there. All right, here he goes. I'm a walking contradiction like in real life. All right, we got our high carving. It's poor quality, but who cares? The people requested it, now it is here. Put it on this side of the room. It's like a giant eyeball or something. Alright, Arrow, you don't have to have art as your highest stat anymore. Our master, you're not allowed to go for a walk. You need to install that sculpture right away so people stop being upset that we don't have the sculpture installed. Oh, we can recruit Hammer, Quick Sleeper, Asexual, Social Animal Plants Construction. Uh, as cool as she is, I don't need those stats, so I'm not going to recruit her. I'm allowed to be picky. There we go. We got our 
Hi, carving. Hey, what's up, Rusty? Okay, now everyone's happy again, now that we have the high carving. Oh god, does anyone have a craving for popcorn? I don't know why I'm suddenly craving popcorn. Which is like extra torturous since I can't eat popcorn. A giant eyeball statue confirmed Will's a follower of the Outer Gods. Yes. Late morning for me. Just started moving around like 30 minutes ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been streaming for over four hours now. And I thought I was going to be late because Rocky let me sleep in. But he was just being a, a good boy and being nice to me and letting me sleep in. This is finished. Okay. Let's put a plain leather armchair in front of it. All right. We can make components of our own now. Let's make... Um, let's stop when we have 100 components. We have a ton of steel right now. Okay. 100 might be overkill. Let's cut that in half. 50 components. Oh, we can also get advanced fabrication. We can make advanced components. That'll be important as well. But right now, we don't need any of that. Alright. Wait for the other bot. Did we get him? Hot. Wait, why is it showing me the message? I thought I killed it. Yeah, I got rid of the bot. It's just, uh, this is just a downfall of YouTube streaming. There's no easy way to deal with him. At least not preemptively. Bots just find me attractive. Yeah, they're trying to find attractive people to put on their uh, best best dating website. No. Uh, even though I do spon I will do sponsored streams. I won't do that kind of content. Try to figure out what to do for breakfast. Man, it's I need to figure out what to do for lunch. Coming up on that time. Hey, they left us a get glitter world medicine. They left us the good stuff. Oh, we have, uh, this is good. We're getting some ceremonies are coming off a of cooldown, so we can start the next stream with some recruiting. You just ate leftovers for breakfast. Always, always a chan um, meal of champions. As for me, I leave. Have a good rest of your day. I'll check on Jono's stream. Hey, thanks for stopping by again, Credo. You have a good rest of your Saturday, too. I might stop by and say hi to Jono. I like how that emote is is labeled pull pull dog and it's a ferret from uh, gold and silver or fur it whatever so it's okay as long as you don't star in it no 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 I'm not saying it's good content 
I don't, I don't want it in my streams. Okay. Well, I also realized he probably wants a light to work by. We probably want a cooler so he isn't hot and a heater so he isn't cold. I know Adam and Eve always looking for YouTubers to sponsor. Yeah, that's that's not a sponsorship that lines up with my content very well. I want I want Red Bull to sponsor me. Or Balls Energy or Rockstar or Monster or Mountain Dew. You know, give me the gamer stuff. Or I'll take anyone with a seat sponsorship. I am looking for a new seat. <laughs> I love that lizard. <laughs> uh, the sponsorship? No, I shouldn't do that joke. Some of you might know where I was going to go with that joke, but... Raid Shadow Legends? I did get contacted to do a raid sponsorship but i missed my uh i had to do it through stream elements and uh, i didn't sign up for it in time so that's my fault for not doing that and getting 90 bucks yeah velour that's what i was going for i don't know well there will be more opportunities. I like. I never played raid. I, I don't know how much, how happy you guys would have been if I picked up that sponsorship. Like, all right, here he is now. He's selling out. But ninety bucks is ninety bucks. I don't know. Could have been fun to check it out. See what all the hype is. See if it's as a meme game or if it's actually a good game. Maybe not even a good game. Maybe it's an okay game. But I don't know. So I want energy drinks to make the good content. I drink a lot of a lot of energy drinks when I'm streaming, so that's why I think an energy drink uh, sponsorship makes sense. And I can spin it into the alchemy theme, you know, like how I call it an energy potion. I don't have any coolers set up at all. No wonder everyone's complaining about sleeping in the heat. I have no way to reduce heat when it gets hot in the summer. Have a Rockstar can dangle with the other potions. Nah, we don't need to do that. Alright, we'll carry this guy to the shuttle. Everyone knows about Raid, nobody cares about it. They're upsetting a lot of people with the insistent amount of ads nonstop for such a long time. Well, yeah, I just don't know if it's like something where it's just been marketed so hard that people just okay yeah I'll go download it and see what it is and then it's like nothing or if there's actually a, a, a game to it and they just they did market too hard and took away some goodwill by doing so here we go Okay, the Psychic Harmonizer, I think, is the dangerous one. Okay, yeah, it makes someone... It projects their mood in a psychic field around them, and that can be dangerous. The Psychic Reader, though, improves the people's negotiation skills. We're going to give Darn Sig that if he doesn't have it already. Oh, he does have it already. Okay, who's my... We should give one to Cholo, then. And then he can be good at reading people in 
negotiations and get better prices. But we don't need to do that right away. Raid got replaced by Bloodlines. I haven't, I don't know if I've seen Bloodlines. I still see some streamers doing Raid Shadow Legends sponsorships though. Not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying it's a thing. Oh, Arrow's gonna do it? All right, good luck, Cholo. Arrow, well, actually, Arrow has seven doctor, doctoring skill. Maybe this will go okay. You could have a morbid screenshot of surgery. <gasps> surgery fail? How do you screw? Oh, Arrow. And now we lost the psychic reader. I'm more upset about the loss of the cybernetic implant than the injury to Cholo. Ooh, attack for hire. Signal the pirates to draw away from them and the caravan towards you. Heavy SMG masterwork, minigun masterwork, charge rifle masterwork. Actually, I might take the reinforced burials and the gold. The first group of pirates is a drifter, three elites, mercenaries, three gunners, slasher, sniper, gunners, thrasher. So that's five, six, seven, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen pirates in three groups. That might be what we do next time when we come back. Basically, Trash... Uh-oh. Oh, Conquerors can't defend herself. We gotta save Conquerors! No, don't avoid friendly fire. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad that the person with the smoke launcher had a revolver as a sidearm, because otherwise... ...they did not have a chance. Blazing Frost looked badass with the thrumbo horn out. That was kind of cool. They're ready to come in and stab the the lynx with a a horn. So is Ch no, I don't think Cholo is a gamer word. It's actually the name of a viewer. Oh, it does say it's often used in der a derogatory manner. <laughs> but it's the name of a viewer. I didn't know. No one's told me I needed to change it. Or suggested that I could. Or should. Yeah, 
Alright, this is almost done. Alright. Well, uh, I said I was going to give it another half hour, uh, so now it's 2.30. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go take care of the rest of my day. End things here. We're at a, a good stopping point. Things are stable for the most part. Conker's got kind of beat up, but she'll be okay. Darn Sig's treating her right now. Is his brain screwed from the surgery? No, no, no. Um, oh, is he R word? No, 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 no. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, no, he was injured because it was a botched surgery, but. Um, he'll recover from it. Oh, wow. It actually scarred him. I guess that makes sense. A mangled scar. Wow, Arrow really... So, no, he ha he doesn't have, like, brain damage from the bot botched surgery, but the delicate psychic... The mind-reading device got destroyed in the surgery, so that sucks. But, no, Cholo will be fine. He'll, ha he'll make a full recovery. He'll have a scar. Um... Which will cause some pain, but it won't... It's not doing anything else. Arrow's a butcher, not a surgeon, apparently. Did Arrow have... He has, like, no penalties to manipulation or something. It must have been just a bad roll. A bad roll of the dice. And the game said, oh, well, you rolled a three on your surgery check, so not good enough. There was nothing he could do. That's right. Well, no, there was something he could do. He could have done a better job or let someone else do it, but <sighs> none of those options happened. We, we had a surgery where someone was a level five medic. And they installed the prosthetic leg. Boom. Went off without a hitch. Arrow was two stats higher. And it was a problem. So I, I, I wish I could like force Cholo and Darn Sig and Javian to do all the surgeries. Because they have 8, 9, and 11 medical stats. So they're way better suited for taking care of people. <laughs> Bug the surgery mechanics. Wasn't bugged. Everything went as was expected. Well, I mean, the game did it as it, as the game does it. It just did not go as expected. And that's why I'm upset he's spaghetti about it. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to take... I'm going to go spoil Racky a little bit. Take care of some chores and some shopping. And work on one of my, like, five video ideas in my head so hopefully I'll have some content that's not just live streaming here soon so look forward to that hopefully I get it done soon so I'm not talking about a project that never gets off uh, the ground oh yeah Rusty I hope your foot feels better sorry to hear that it's causing you some pain oh here's a good someone landed that we can capture fix him up and recruit him he's tough another tough pawn the game is being very generous with these tough colonists do I have anyone who's we all have Mew Mew stabilize him so he doesn't bleed out right here and then we'll recruit him all right, that's what we'll do next time is we'll recruit that guy. Oh, we'll kidnap him, then start convincing him to join us. And we'll also fight off three pirate raids when we get back. That's like your thing, talking about a project you'll not get to finish. I don't want that to be my thing, so I want to break that streak. But, um... All right, folks. Well, go enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Go enjoy your three-day weekend if you're in the States and you get the holiday off. 
I'll be back tomorrow morning to play uh, Atelier Sophie 2, so we'll have some alchemy game, anime alchemy game going on. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm gonna go get ready to take Rocky out and then uh, go pick up his food and get and spoil him with a toy and a treat. So thank you guys hang for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys had some fun. Thank you guys for the... Uh, oh, we got five gifted subs, but YouTube never told us who got them, huh? That was really weird. I hope... Uh, I forgot about those, and then I checked the queue, and no one got them. Well, I hope Lynx gets a refund. That was really weird. Because I definitely see people who don't have memberships in the chat. And I had five gifted, and I guess they didn't go out to anyone. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, have a good rest of your, your day, guys. Good rest of your Saturday. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for Atlee or Sophie. If not, enjoy the weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay out of trouble. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye for now.